Hi, I'm Yannick Hanfman. I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Dennis Kudla. This is Sebastian Ofer. It's Mark Andrea Wiesler. I am Francisco Serundolo. And, and you're listening, listening to the Games Without Podcast. Hopefully you enjoy it. <laughs> Novak Djokovic comes in. He steals the title. He wins the 23rd Grand Slam. He's the first guy in history to win 23 Grand Slam. Alcaraz is going to win Roland Garros this year. He wants to be the greatest player. He wants to emulate some of the big goats of the game. I think Iga's going to win Roland Garros and win it back to back. It doesn't happen often. Iga Sriantec is going to be picking up her third in the men's Daniel Medvedev. Rude winning Roland Garros. Akhapenko is going to get her second Roland Garros title. Carlos Alcaraz is going to win the men's side. Iga's fiance is going to uh, to win on the women's. Daniel Medvedev and Jessica Pagula will bring home the trophy this year. Novak Djokovic clinching his 23rd. And then on the women's side, we're going to put On the women's side, been on fire, has won titles on every surface. Her name is Elena Rabakina. And on the men's, Carlos Alcaraz will win his first French Open. Novak Djokovic is the 2023 Roland Garros champion. Hey, welcome back, tennis fans. Novak Djokovic into another quarterfinal in Roland Garros. Been there more times than Rafael Nadal, believe it or not, but doesn't have as many titles as him. They're just showing the time spent on court between Djokovic and Hatchinov, and they spelt Hatchinov's name wrong, which is terrible. Three hours less on court for Djokovic, and the head-to-head, I'm sure everybody is well aware that this is a very lopsided one in favour of Novak Djokovic. 8-1 is the head-to-head scoreline, and the only time that he has beaten Djokovic was the Paris Masters. That was back in 2018. So this one's going to be potentially one-sided, but we never know. It is a grand slam. Hachanov has been going deep in a lot of slams of late. He has been to semi-finals in the last two slams he's been he's been to the quarterfinals at the last time he went to Wimbledon I always find it entertaining when we have the start of every Djokovic match when they have to list off every single one of his accomplishments before saying his name and it takes a good 30 40 seconds <laughs> listing off oh one of the ball kids just hit the ball uh threw the ball at Djokovic then it hit him on the leg he didn't tumble over Maybe a bit of retribution from the ball kids back to the players from this week. I doubt that very much. Good to see some of you in. We got some of the regs in. Gary up early, I'm sure. Saying Edimo, Ben and Nole. That's right. Let me know who you're supporting in this one. Let me know your score as well. How do you see this one going? Do you see this one being a straightforward Djokovic win? Or do you think Hachanov is going to throw a spanner in the works of number 23? Uh, let me know in the live chat now. All right, and we have not yet started, but I'll get the scoreboard up anyway. We've got the trumpets in the crowd, and at least there's a crowd now, because unfortunately for the match between well, the, both the women's matches, there was next to nobody there. And I think that's very disappointing. Nobody showed up. And now, the well, the stands are packed. Uh, can barely see a spare seat in the house. That's very disappointing. No one really turning up for the Svitolina Saba match. No one, or even less people, for Mukova versus Pavlyuchenkova. We've got Djokovic in three from Gary. I'm going to show... Oh, I'm going to support Nole today. No, no... Uh, no surprise there. We've got Vlad going Djokovic in four. Todd going Novak in four. We've got everybody calling him different things. Novak, Djokovic, no, uh, Djoko. Uh, <laughs> we got Sun Liang with Djokovic in three. I think I'm going to be going the same as you, son. I think it's going to be Djokovic in two tight sets and a comfortable third again. Similar to the Fakina one. Needs to serve well, though, today. Hachanov will be on his game. If you're just joining, make sure you've smashed the thumbs up on the video. That's the first thing you have to do when you come in to GTL. We've got Grazia in. How are you doing? Saying, hi, Ben. Go, Nole. And Nole is serving first. Backhand from Hachanov. 
down the line from Djokovic there. And it is long. Feel that Djokovic growing into this competition as it goes, as he always does. We're already at 32 likes on the video. Lovely stuff. Thanks to everyone who smashed that button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. The subs are going up as we speak. That's what we like to see. Grand Slam, normally a lot more people tuning in. It is 15 love, Djokovic. That's long from Hachanov. And it is 30 love, a nice quick start from the Serb. And yeah, we're sort of on our way nicely to around 53,000 subscribers. We need another 400 or so, but I'm sure we can get there come the end of Roland Garros. Djokovic here, 30 love. The very nice weather they've got there in Paris today. Doesn't seem like there's a cloud in the sky and there's an unreturnable first serve from Djokovic and he's sort of quickly requesting the tennis balls from the from the ball kids. He just wants to get the first one over and done with. No surprise that the crowd are packed in there to see a master at work. Just long on the first serve there from Djokovic. We've got Cedric in saying, big up Ben. Is it windy, says Tara. I don't see too much yet. Let's second serve. Djokovic, just going to use the same ball again. Why not? Djokovic wearing the red uh, red top that he's been wearing all the time. Black shorts with the red trainers and Hachanov in the green. Good return there from Hachanov. A little bit short on that one, but Djokovic into the net with his backhand. Just going to start finding his feet as he always does. The first set, more a feeling out process. Probably compare Djokovic to that of a boxer. The first set, very much just gauging his opponent. And trying to get his own hand in. Uh, the first serve started well, and now all of a sudden it's uh, just gone off a bit. So I think he's getting another first serve here. It just clipped the neck cord, that, foot, that first serve. And this one into the net. Second serve, and the quick for, the quick start that he was hoping for with a game to love did not materialize, but he could still get this over the line with a game to 15. Charnov down into the backhand of Djokovic. Djokovic with, well, definitely more tools in his arsenal than Hachanov. And I'm interested to see which ones of them he will employ today to try and get Hachanov out of there in the quickest time possible. I still don't think we've seen Djokovic really stepping up yet in this competition. I feel the last match was he won at a canter. This one, he's going to have to just step it up a little bit. I feel that he needs to hit with a little bit more power to get Hachanov out of there. He's probably going to use this first set just to get get the radar working, make sure that the accuracy is there. And that's a great kick serve. He gets Hachanov out wide, goes back behind him, and then Hachanov can't adjust. The big man, the six foot six, and it is Djokovic on the board. And I'd say comfortable enough in the first game there. And let's just get the dancing shoes on. There's no lays on the court. Right, Djokovic on the board. One love. If you're just joining, smash the thumbs up. Come on, all 100 of you that have joined. This is Djokovic quarterfinal. I think number 17. Yeah, Roland Garros. Hachanov serving. Just get himself on the board. He will have to serve big today. Good return from Djokovic. And if Djokovic's returning game is on, could be 
a very tough day at the office for Hachanov. But he has shown a lot of promise on all surfaces over the course of the last couple of years. So a dangerous opponent, nonetheless, someone who can always trouble a lot of people uh, and maybe take a set from some of the best players out there. I remember him taking a set off Rafa, the Australian Open, in that momentous one. Obviously, Djokovic missed that tournament. And Peter saying, ESPN Viva, actually ahead of GTL by about a minute. How is that possible? We can't be ahead by a whole minute. Do I have to refresh? I think I'm in time. That's a double fault for Hachanov there. He went to go down the tee with a kick. We got Danny Pavic in saying, hey, Ben, and GTL community, nice to be here again. Hit that like button, definitely. Hit the thumbs up. Your boy Covey, he's just finished covering Svitolina Sabalenka. Appreciate that, bud, saying, I may fall asleep, but I'm here and awake at the moment. Hit the like button. <laughs> I like it. I like it, mate. Well, Covey will be back later on for the big one. So, yeah, make sure you get your rest, mate. Alcalaz Sissipas, part five. Will Sissipas be able to finally get a win over him? I'm sure there's a lot of people thinking the answer to that is no. But let's wait and see. We've got Hasni in with a prediction from Facebook saying 3-1 Djokovic. Right, so... Throw If you're a member of the channel, throw your Covey emojis into the live chat. Big up for your boy. Good serve there from Hachano out wide. And Djokovic, even though he's able to get a racket to it. Yeah, I mean, it was perfect. Right in the corner. Djokovic unable to uh, get anything on it to get it back in the court. 40-15, ace from Hachanov, goes down the tee, and he'll be happy with that, because he is on the board. Karim, 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 Hachanov. That's right, Karim Hachanov. He is on the board as well. One game apiece. And Djokovic just testing out the ball toss just to see where the sun is right now. It is a very, very sunny day there. First serve in down the tee. Forehand cross court. Hits the net cord from Hachanov and just bounces wide. <laughs> Malkin and Malti said, oh my God, this button. Yeah, it doesn't come out too often. But when it does, Hachanov is dancing away. He's had many victories with that button. Djokovic kicking the clay away on the baseline. Now ready to serve. Serving goes, or oh, just clips the net cord, bounces wide. It's been a lot of controversy in this tournament about this hitting a ball kid. And then there's been Kyrgios speaking out on social media about it. Then people calling him out. But he said, at the end of the day, if you hit it, even if you're not, in anger, and you hit an official, it's a default. That's it. He doesn't. He's he's been defaulted before. He knows what it's like. Imad saying, "Are you going to stream Tissipas?" Yes, that'll be on later, mate. Yeah, Anya saying, uh, "Cheering for Novak," but Karen's button is one of my favourites. Yeah, I mean it's one that sticks in the head. That's for sure. Find myself singing it sometimes, <laughs> just just at home. <laughs> Right. Serving. Second serves in. Hachanov, good backhand. Djokovic, oh, poor backhand from him. Hooked it. Just went long. Definitely not the connection that he was looking for there. Oh, we've got the... Hooray! Maybe I should get a button with that arm. It's a good idea. Thanks, Ben. Oh, you're welcome full of them uh right so back to this 30 15 first sign of madness isn't it talking to yourself <laughs> right 30 15 first serves missed from Djokovic second serve the umpteenth bounce 
And Hachanov long. I mean, he'd be annoyed that he's not getting in on the, some of these second serves at the moment. With weather like this, what do you reckon players should be allowed to wear like some sort of goggle? Like, I know that some players have problems serving into the sun and Djokovic trying to adjust again. Like he's trying to work out where to throw the ball up. Is there like some sort of visor or goggles that could block the sun? Or just mean so that you don't look into the sun as you're serving. Good slice there from Djokovic. Catches Achanov coming in. And down the line with the backhand. Cross court from Achanov's good. But better from Djokovic. Is that in from Achanov? He went for a drop shot. It might be, you know. I think Djokovic is convinced it's out. Uh, yeah, definitely out. Confirmed by James Kiatadong. And uh, Nole goes in 2 1. God, that was an exciting rally, has to be said. The Joker. Right. We've got 160 of you in. Do we have 160 likes on the video? Oh, we got 43. That's a quarter. Let's all get that likes, well, that thumbs up, like button smashed, and then we can all get to 100 likes. I can get the 100 like song button out. That's what I really want. I might even give you a live rendition of it if you're lucky. Um, we've got Goldflake in. Saying, don't let the cost design a visor. Hi, how are you doing? I'm surprised you're a bit late, but uh, we'll let you off. I know that you're having a bit of trouble with the timing of the match, but it's fine. Don't worry. That's why I'm there to remind you. If you really want to be kept notified of everything going on on GTO, I know sometimes YouTube doesn't ping out the notifications, then join our Discord. I'll pop the link in the live chat for everybody. Join in there, plenty of people in there, plenty of forums, chatting about tennis all day, every day. Oh, Gary saying, golf like a rare appearance. Good to see you. Yeah, your boy saying, no, they brought the heat with that forehand. Wow. Yep, he really did. Kalen started with the pace on his and Djokovic fired back. Good serve out wide. Hachanov serve will need to be at its best today. At what point will Djokovic start working out where he's going to serve, guessing correctly, and then starting to eat into that Hachanov service game? Yeah, I mean, people need to get to their seats a bit quicker. We're already one point into the game. Just down the tee and just wide from Hachanov. Second serve is going to go down the centre. Djokovic, great forehand winner. Brilliant from the Serbian. Superstar. Looking for his third Roland Garros title. 23rd in total. It's 15-all. Djokovic already getting his eye in. It's that first serve. And that's come back now. Drop shot, Hatchanov. Djokovic gets there, but will he get to the next one? It's a lob from Hachanov. Djokovic presses it just into the corner and Hachanov passes him at the net with the backhand. Really good play from Hachanov, bringing Djokovic to the net. And I don't know if anybody will agree with me on this, but I'm sure it's just like a thing which will just happen with age anyway. Feel like Novak slightly slower than normal to get to drop shots. Is that just me? Let me know in the live chat if you agree with me. But I'm guessing you're not going to get quicker as you get older, are you? That's the thing. Well, maybe you will. Maybe with this new nanotechnology, maybe you will suddenly become quicker. But there's just been, maybe it's not the speed to get there. Maybe it's just the reaction. 
I feel like maybe he waits a, like a half second or something. There's like a split second before he makes the move to get to the net. And maybe that means he's not as effective when he does finally get there. But maybe I'm just nitpicking. Uh, it's so hard to find any, any uh, faults in the game of Djokovic. But maybe that may be one of them. That's a great serve from Acharnov there. He does hold. And it is 2-2. Two -two. Tell me where you're watching from. Tell me what you're doing. Are you having lunch? Are you having breakfast? Is it the middle of the night? Are you having a beer? Are you having a wine? What are you doing? Come on. All right. Djokovic cleans the line, then cleans the trainers, and now ready to serve. Hachanov waiting. 2-2. Uh, two -two. Oh, it would have been an ace, but just skim the net cord down the tee. So he gets another go at this first serve. Will he go down the tee again? No, he goes out wide and Hachanov. Great return, really deep. He goes drop shot. Djokovic gets to this one with ease. Hachanov, oh, right at Djokovic at the net. I mean, he's never going to miss that. And he pops the volley away. And we've got Goldflake saying, back in Germany, Ben, waiting for five uh, to open a beer. Well, I didn't wait. I'm sorry. It's Djokovic on after all. So I'm going to have a beer. I'm excited. I'm excited at the prospect of a semi-final, but I don't know who he's going to be playing. I've got a sneaky suspicion of who he may be playing. <laughs> Good serve from Djokovic down the tee. Good return from Hachanov, though, and into the rally again. Forehand, oh, deep on the court, inside out from Hachanov, forces the error from Djokovic. Some real power. pushed him right into the corner in the backhand side and Djokovic could only go long there unfortunately with that one Djokovic cleans out the trainers again 15 all we've got uh, Danuke in saying Sri Lanka at 7pm just came home from work having dinner lovely stuff pizza saying watching in bed from Cartagena Colombia wow amazing sounds fantastic Peter saying Novak slower takes less risk to injury. Yeah, I guess that's right too. 15 all here. Second serve. It's a kicker. Hachanov loops it up. Very good. Deep shot there from him. Backhand down the line from Djokovic. Hachanov moves across. Backhand into the corner. Hachanov can only slice. Now Djokovic clips the net cord. It bounces up. Hachanov attacks. Comes to the net. The volley from Hachanov's good. Djokovic loops it up. Can he smash Hachanov? Oh, he's put it back straight to Djokovic's path. Now they're in the rally again. Wow, what a rally. Hachanov, big winner. Inside out forehand from the Russian. Fantastic tennis from both players. Lindsay saying, I'm packing the dishwasher, listening to you. Sounds good, but in Cape Town, in South Africa. Ooh, nice. We got a whole uh, array of people around the world today. That's what we like to hear. Goldflex saying, what time are the matches for you, Gary? We know Gary's probably just woken up. He's just uh, probably, or he's been up for a while. He couldn't sleep because Djokovic is playing. So 15.30, Hatjanov making the early inroads here on the Djokovic serve. Djokovic missing the first serve there, going into the net. If you're just joining, make sure you hit the thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new. We're up to 50. Let's get to 100. Djokovic, 15-30, second serve. He's taking his time with this one. Oh, it's a double fault. Uh-oh, two break points. That was a really fast second serve as well. I'm surprised. Didn't opt for a lot of kick on it. So maybe he missed mishit it i doubt he was going for a, a such a big second serve at that well it was a very very uh dodgy point to try one on now he's facing break point serve good serve blocked back in by hachanov backhand djokovic cross court hachanov really good depth again hachanov playing well keeping novak on the baseline 
Now into the forehand of Djokovic. Djokovic, oh, he hits the baseline. Hachanov loops it up. Djokovic again near the baseline. Hachanov with power going down the line this time. Djokovic cross-court backhand. Looped up into the middle of the court. Djokovic hits it. Oh, it's a picture-perfect forehand down the line. It looked like it might fly out, but it just, the top spin carried it in onto the line. One of those ones where you sort of, I just have your heart in your mouth as you watch it dip away just at the end. Fantastic stuff. What a way to finish that rally. Absolutely perfect. And his box is saying it was in by that much. It's one break point save. That's how you save a break point. Can he save another one? He's going to be think, hopefully not thinking about that double fault right now. First serves in. Hachanov, great return onto the baseline. And Hachanov down the line. Djokovic on the run. Goes cross court. Hachanov cross court. Djokovic into the backhand of Hachanov now. Oh, just over the net by Djokovic this time. Slice he's employed now. Backhand to backhand. Djokovic slices it down the middle, asking Hachanov to take over the rally. Goes cross court. Backhand from both. Hachanov a little bit more on his shots at the moment. Djokovic getting it deeper now. Forcing Hachanov to hit backhand after backhand. And now forehand into Djokovic's backhand. He's looped it up, asking Hachanov to hit a weird angle. And it's worked. It's worked. He's looped it up and caused a bit of confusion there in the Russian's head. He didn't hit it with the same pace. He sort of created an angle. It bounced up around the service line at quite a height. And Hachanov had to sort of hit down on the ball and hit down at an angle. 25-shot rally and Djokovic, the victor, on both occasions of those both of both of those last long rallies on break points. It's juice. Two, two. Juice. Can't get much closer. Djokovic saved the break points. That's a good sign for no lay fans around the world. Fans and fans. Oh, great return from Hachanov again. He's not out of this. He goes drop shot. Djokovic gets there. He plays his own. Hachanov gets there. Djokovic volley. Oh, beautiful. What a great rally. I mean, both men showing their agility, but Djokovic showing the intelligence of his drop shot reply, playing a crafty angle across the net. And Hachanov got there, but obviously Djokovic was there with a, well, it was nearly behind him, the ball, the backhand volley, but he was able to put it away. And what an ex exquisite rally again. These two really getting going right now. Loving this. Six minutes and a half in this game. Ooh, just misses down the tee. It is a second serve. Last time he had a second serve, we saw a double fault. But surely he's not going to make the same mistake again. He has the advantage here. And this is a massive game, I feel, mentally in this first set. Good second serve. Backhand Hachanov. They go cross court into the middle of the court now from Hachanov into Djokovic's forehand. Now cross-court. Backhand slice from Djokovic. There's a little drop shot. Hachanov's in. Yeah, he's put it away. It wasn't a good drop shot from Djokovic. It didn't even look like he was meaning to play the drop shot, if I'm perfectly honest. It looked like a halfway between a, a just a normal slice, and then he thought about maybe taking some pace off it, and it landed right in the middle of the service box and sat up and Hachanov's going to put them away all day long. So we got Ardalin. How are you doing? Big Djokovic fan in the house. Great to have you in. All right. Seven minutes, 45 seconds. We're back to juice again. Djokovic feeling a little bit of the Hachanov pressure. Good serve out wide. Hachanov, amazing fast return. Djokovic has to loop up his next shot. He's gone drop shot. Not a good one from Djokovic. It's break point again as it went into the net from Novak Djokovic. Hachanov, he can. This is when Hachanov will be his most dangerous in the match, that's for sure. These first couple of sets. So you just need to hang in there. He has a lot of power. And he's definitely good at serving. He hasn't really been tested on his service game yet, but we are in the beginning of the set. And that's when it tends to be slightly easier for some 
players when playing Djokovic. It's the back end, which uh, starts to get a bit tougher. Good return again from Hatchanov. Just over the net from Djokovic. Power from Hatchanov. Can he smash? Oh, my word. He nearly missed it. Did he miss it? They're going to check the mark. I mean, he had the whole court to aim into. Kyotothong's down. He's saying it's out. Oh, no. What a terrible smash from uh, Hachanov. It does look out from the mark. I mean, he's going to be kicking himself there. He was right on top of the net. Djokovic was on the back foot. There was no way Djokovic could get back in the rally. And Hachanov missed the smash. I mean, he went too crazy. He didn't. He tried to go into the corner rather than just smash down the middle and break point missed for Hachanov there. And we're nine minutes into this Djokovic service game and we're juice again. But how many times have we seen this in a Djokovic match? A long juice. And it's a great return again from Hachanov. He's really finding the mark with a forehand and Djokovic goes long, can't control the pace. Djokovic needs to be a little bit more creative, I feel. With some of these serves, Hachanov reading him at the moment. and Maybe stop playing it into the forehand side because it's a lot of powerful returns coming. Right, serving here. Advantage Hachanov. Break point number four. Good serve. Blocked back in play. Djokovic inside out. Good backhand Hachanov. Djokovic down the line. Now the forehand of Hachanov. Oh, good they yeah, I'm really clever from Djokovic again. He changed the pace of the rally. He looped the ball on this time onto the forehand side. It kicked up and Hachanov didn't adjust well. So the one thing that we are taking from this first set so far in rallies, I'd say over four, five shots. As soon as Djokovic changes the pace of the rally, Hachanov doesn't cope well with it. So maybe he's finding things out right now in this first set. Good serve. Great return from Hachanov. And that's where I'm, I'm saying serving to the backhand. He served to the backhand and the backhand came back down the line. And Djokovic went into the net. Hachanov with another opportunity now at break point. And this is break point number five. And this, this game is now 11 minutes long. Wow. If this one goes the distance. It's not going to do either player any favours. Yeah, KC saying Karen's got to take those opportunities. Serve, great serve in out wide. Hachanov gets a great backhand in deep. Keeping Djokovic on the backhand. Forehand cross court, Hachanov. Djokovic looping it up mid court. Hachanov goes big winner. There you go. Djokovic tempted him in and unfortunately paid the price. It's Kalen. He's done it. Karim, 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 Hatch no. Karim, 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 Hatch no. All right, we got Danuke in saying uh, Djokovic fan here with Hachanov as second favorite. So if Novak doesn't win it, uh, it will hurt a lot less. Okay, well, that's a good way of looking things. Uh, looking at things, we've got uh, Todd Hill saying huge. Gary saying uh, Carolyn with a Joker smash. Yeah, it was a little bit, but he gave him the opportunities there. I mean, Karen worked for himself, but I feel like Djokovic sort of gave him, sort of gave him that opportunity as well. I don't think it was all just Hachanov playing well. Djokovic. Sort of gave him an opportunity there and sort of said, you go for it. If you want it, you're going to have to take it. Hachanov playing with confidence. He did take it. 3-2 with the break. All right. Match on. Game on, as they say. Okay, if you're just joining us and you're one of the 300, make sure you've hit a like on this video. We want to get up to 100 likes. We're only 42 away, and we'd love to get the 100 like button out for everybody. The 100 like song. Come on. Can he consolidate this break? Easier said than done. Good backhand. Second shot there. The one-two from Hachanov. 
Djokovic moving into the middle of the court after the serve, and he played it in back behind him. Good serving from Hachanov so far, so far in this match. But we're still in the middle of the first set. Good serve there. Forehand down the middle of the court. Backhand oh, into the net from Djokovic, and it is 30 love. Little error coming from the Djokovic racket. Please ignore the scoreboard on the screen. It is 30 love currently. The last uh, six points, Hachanov has won five of them. Up to 61 likes now. Thanks, everybody, who has hit the like button. Just long on the first serve. If you want the chance to get on our top tippers leaderboard, or even if you don't, you just want a player button, send us in a $5 super chat and we'll get any player button played for you. Oh, my word. Great serve. And Djokovic with an unorthodox return that goes long. Yeah, we're about 25% or 20% into our Ronald Garros tip target. So if you want to help our channel grow, much appreciated. And we'll do our best to give you a shout out and play any player buttons that you want to hear. Hachanov, 40 love. Great serve. Djokovic back in play, though. Got to play every point. See if it's the last. Looped up from Djokovic. Hachanov misses down the line with the forehand. That's probably what Djokovic was hoping for when he looped one up in that last rally. But Hachanov went for it and got the reward. 40-15. Hachanov, not one of the players you really want to give a break advantage to. Got a big serve on him. And he's been looking good in this tournament. I'm just going to go back through some of his results. Maybe I'll go in the break, but good backhand cross court. Djokovic with a slice, a really good slice, answered by Hachanov. Now down into the Djokovic forehand. He's gone with a bit more pace on it. And that's better from Djokovic. It's the Second time we've seen him hit a forehand with a lot of pace. And it's brought an error from Hachanov each time. But yeah, Hachanov, he had a tough match in the last round. Lorenzo Sonego, that was four sets. Kokonakis, another tough match, four sets. And Radu Albot, and then Lestien, remember, in five sets in the first round. And there you go. Hachanov does consolidate the break with a big serving. Wow. Todd saying Mukova rolling on the women's side. But can she upset Sabalenka? Well, that's the big question. Saba Mukova semi-final. Who's going to be at the semi-final on the other side? Looks like it most probably will be eager and forgotten who's in the other side. Other bit. Slipped my mind. Good return from Hachanov. Djokovic down the line. Winner. Brilliant. Used the pace. Hachanov returned with to angle it down the line. Hachanov nowhere near that. we got Manor Sapphire cheering on Cowden. <laughs> That's a Rafa, bit of Rafa fan in there. No one wanting Djokovic to uh, go any further than he has to. 4-2 at the moment. Hachanov. Djokovic, only the one break behind. Needs to keep it that way. Second serves in. Good return from Hachanov and Djokovic into the net. I know we've said this many times already in this tournament, but Djokovic in the first set looking tired, but it's it's just it's deceptive. He always it's just getting the engine running, I think, which just takes a bit out of him. Once it's running, he's all right. Fifteen all. Just misses down the tee with the first serve. Second serve for Djokovic. Where can he put this one? He needs to stay away from the forehand. I think he has. He's played it down the middle. It's a really good one. Now he's gone drop shot. It's not a very good drop shot. And Hachanov's got there. Djokovic gets there. Hachanov down the line. Djokovic gets there, loops it up. But surely he's not going to miss that smash. No, too good. 
the initial drop shot from Djokovic wasn't very good. He just sort of played it too much bounce, really. Yeah, didn't really get enough of a fine cut on that ball. There's the smash from Hachanov. We've got Elizabeth in. How are you doing, Elizabeth? All right, 15.30 and Djokovic under pressure again on his serve. His first serve into the net so far. Hachanov serving the better. Djokovic only won three points off of his second serve out of 11. Second serve's in. Good return from Hachanov. Djokovic down the line. Brilliant backhand. And you're saying Novak never comfortable with a smash. Is that receiving one or giving one? I don't think it's ever comfortable to receive one. Bit of a st stupid question, really. Brilliant backhand from Djokovic. One of his best of the match. Hachanov unable to get there. Maybe Gary saw this first set going to Hachanov. Oh, I think I had this, I had what I said at the start. I had Djokovic winning in three, but the first set, there's part of me that feels like it's always going to be a tie break. Hachanov on the court could even be two tie breaks. Right, Djokovic turned this game around 40 30 now. Good serve on the last one. Great serve there, but it's back in play from Hachanov. Gets it deep. And he's missed down the line with his backhand, and Djokovic keeps it to one break. And 4-3 going in at the changeover. Hachanov needs to get to the number five. When will the nerves start kicking in for the Russian? I mean, we saw him really do well in that first round match. It was a bit of a crazy one. He was... Um, yeah, he was down two sets to love, wasn't he? Had to come back from two sets down to win in five against Constant Lestien. It was impressive, though, in front of the French crowd. But since then, he's just been on a roll and doing playing some great tennis. Djokovic, obviously, yet to drop a set so far in this year's championships. And Djokovic showing why he is the champion that he is in that last game. Coming back from a uh, deficit, 15-30. Turning the game on its head, three points in a row. And taking it with almost ease. Right, they're going to go back out on the court. Gar uh, Gary saying Karen is definitely the better player in the first or in set one. Well, so far, Gary. So far, but doesn't mean anything. I feel, we have the same conversations, I swear, every time we, we come in here when, with a Djokovic match. And I think we, we've probably said this a thousand times over. Like Djokovic, oh, the second best player in this first set. And then we get to this, the next two or three games. And then we find out that actually the beginning of the set meant nothing. Let's see if that's true again. As Hachanov ready to serve, but seems like the crowd are not ready to allow him. Well, he's ready now. Serves out wide. Djokovic back in play. Inside out forehand. Djokovic slides over. He's played a moon ball for some reason. Strange decision from Djokovic there. Not sure if I'm that impressed by that shot. Hmm. Se well, 15 love. Second serve, it will be coming up for Hachanov. If you're just joining us, make sure you've hit a like on the video. We're up to 71. Come on. A 29 away from 100. Good kicker out. Well, good kicker long. It kicked so far back that Djokovic had to just try and play another moon ball. Hachanov serving well. Peter saying, is this shaping up to be a long match? Could be. Could be a long match. Hachanov serving. Good serve. Backhand into the corner from Djokovic. 
Mm, he's into the rally and he's made a strange decision there. He's gone a slice inside out, but uh, it's just too much slice, too much cut on the ball and it curls out. It's faulty love. Djokovic not really making any inroads. Hasn't had a break point yet. Hachanov serving. Good serve. Djokovic gets it back in play. Volley from Hachanov. Djokovic passing shot down the line. Br uh, brilliant winner. 40-15. Philly's had opportunities in this, in this set. This is the thing. He's had opportunities even in this game. But when you're in those long rallies, or even into a rally when you've got someone as a big serving as Hachanov down the other end, you need to just take advantage. And there you go. You can't. Because if the fact he didn't, Hachanov does hold serve and he gets to the five first. Karim, 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 Hachanov. There he is. Hachanov, 5-3 up. Djokovic serving to stay in this first set. Hachanov looking good so far. Wearing the green and the white. Matching our scoreboard. All right, 15 love. Good ace there from Djokovic out wide. He'll need more of them. Hachanov expecting the ball to be coming to his backhand. That's for the lesser of the weapons. It is second serve Djokovic. Big moment. Big game. Needs to make Kalen f serve out for this good return from Kalen there. The cloud sort of coming over. Now they've gone again. It's brighter on the court. Down the line from Hachanov. Djokovic into the forehand. A drop shot from Hachanov. Djokovic gets there, but surely he's going to finish it. Close to the line, but he does get it in. Hachanov, the drop shot working well for him today. He's moving Djokovic around. Djokovic. Yeah, he looks like he's breathing a bit. Knows that that one took a little bit out of him. See, he's like, almost like burping at the back. Just going to... Yeah, I mean, he's just going to be a... Uh... Well, it's just going to be easing himself into this match. Well, so I was just taking a close look at Djokovic then. See what his breathing is doing while he's serving. Fifteen all. Second serve. Sorry. First serve let. Second serve now. Serving. It's in. Forehand cross court Hachanov. Down the line. Winner from Djokovic. One of his best ones so far. That was never coming back. Wow, what a shot that. Brilliant. He really just took it on. It came back fast and he fired a winner. 30-15. First serve's not really been too great today for Djokovic. Needs to improve that. Another second serve for Hachanov to look at. Great second serve. Oh, and a terrible follow-up shot from Djokovic into the net. He hasn't really looked his crisp self in this first set. Hachanov trying to pump himself up. He knows this is the moment, really. He doesn't want to serve out for the set. There's no way that he would like to serve out for this. <laughs> I think we all know that. We've got Max in saying, hey, Ben and everyone. Hit the like button and subscribe. Yes, everybody smash the like button. We're only 28 away from 100. Djokovic misses another first serve and holds his head in the air. Looks to the skies. 
Second serve. Sin. Backhand cross court. Hachanov going around the service box. It's a poor drop shot attempt by Djokovic, and he's facing set point. Break point opportunity. Yeah, very strange decision making from Novak Djokovic. Seeming to want to get out of the rally before it even begun. And now, Hachanov is just waiting down the other end. The crowd are chanting. They know what's coming. 45 minutes on the clock. Djokovic needs to improve here. Serving. Serves out to the backhand. Good backhand. Goes down the line. Brilliant winner from Djokovic. Save set point. Not much you can do about that. Maybe he could have done a little bit more with the return. But other than that, not much more. Great backhand from Djokovic. Hits the line. Save set point. And now he's serving at deuce. I mean, that's a big moment for Djokovic. Should he hold serve here? And it may get into the head of Hachanov. Great serve out wide. Brilliant return from Hachanov, but it's into the corner. And there's no getting to that from Djokovic. Quick adjustment with the feet. And a great angle with the backhand. Advantage Djokovic just in a moment of seconds from set point a second ago. Now we've got game point Djokovic at advantage with some very clever serving and second ball hitting. Ooh. It's down the tee. They called it out. And I believe the umpire is looking to say, no, he's saying it's out. Yeah, he's called it out. And it will be a second serve. Yeah, it's just wide. What did look very close, though. Serving here. Advantage. Backhand from Kalen. Oh, just over the net from Djokovic. Forehand, Hachanov. Down the line from Hachanov now. And Djokovic looping it up. And Hachanov with the inside out forehand. Djokovic backhand. Now Djokovic being given the run around on the baseline. He goes oh, just over the net again. Hachanov, good backhand. Same as Djokovic. Cross court. It's long from Hachanov. Yeah, I think it's definitely long. Yeah, Djokovic just circling the uh, mark. Looked long from here. I don't know. He's having a close look at it. Looks long from... Hmm. I think he's going to say it's in. Wow. It is. He's he's saying in. I think there was a lot of uh, a lot of dust floating around. So we go back to Juice then, I guess. Or do we replay the point? Replay the point. Wow. Djokovic cleaning the mark off. And it is advantage Djokovic again. That was a little bit of a nervy moment. Achanov probably be a bit annoyed. That was called out. That was a very tough ball to get back. Good serve from Djokovic. Oh, and he's messed up his forehand now. And it goes long and we go back to Deuce. Maybe that is justice. Achanov was in a very advantageous position. After that shot that clipped the line and didn't really get to take advantage of it. And it is Juice. Serving now. Hachanov looks ready down the other end. Djokovic, you can see the wind starting to ripple a little bit. Great first serve. Great return from Hachanov. Slice from Djokovic. And a drop shot from Djokovic is good. Hachanov gets there, plays the angle. It's really good from Hachanov. He gets another set point, and Djokovic's drop shots just haven't been like they haven't killed off the rally as much as he had hoped. They're a bit too high, and the bounce is coming up a bit too much, giving his opponent the opportunity to play a well, a, an accomplished return, which that's what Djokovic normally does to opponents. It's set point number two, Kalen Hachanov. Djokovic taking his time here with the ball bounce. Good serve down the tee. Oh, wow. I mean, into the net. It looped up, but Djokovic serving his way out of trouble again. 
if you're just joining us, you're one of the 450. Make sure you hit the thumbs up on this video and subscribe to Game to Love if you're new. Stay tuned because we're going to be bringing you all of the action at Roland Garros coming up over the rest of this week. Djokovic now at Juice. Hits the net cord, bounces long. We're at only 16 likes from 100. I'll get the special 100 likes song out after this game if we get there. Second serves in. Hachanov, forehand. Djokovic is playing down the middle now. Hachanov with a big forehand inside out. Djokovic hits the baseline. Now he goes down the line, makes Hachanov run. Now he goes down the other wing. Hachanov backhand. He's had to loop it up to stay in the rally. Jo drop shot from Djokovic. That's too good. That one, that's better. He was hitting that one from up high rather than from down low and sort of pushed it over the net to get Hachanov running and scampering in. But there wasn't much pace on the ball and it died before he got there. Yeah, he sort of faked the big top spin forehand and just went with the little dropper. I mean, he got there, but he couldn't get a good connection. And it is advantage Djokovic again. Two set points saved in this game. Yeah, and I thought he might go down the tee. Seems like the safe option, but he's not been hitting it that often today. Here we go. Second serve. Second serve is in. What a great second serve. Kicker out wide, but a great return from Hachana into the other corner from Djokovic. It's just over the net. You know, he plays the angle. Oh, brilliant play from Djokovic. What a play. Oh, it is all, says Ardell. Don't forget, he's still just down a break, but what play to save set points, save that game, and make Hachanov serve it out. When we come back. Wow. I mean, Djokovic did everything he could there to prevent being broken and losing the set. It would have been his first set loss of this whole entire tournament. He refused to be broken and refused to give up that set. And that's what great players do. If you're just joining us, we're only 10 likes away from 100. Come on, smash that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new. We need to have you here for the rest of Roland Garros. I cannot wait for it. Kachanov now serving out for the first set. We got Peter Zaremba, one of our members. He's in saying, man, thanks for the exciting watch along commentary here in Espanol, naturally. Yeah, Espanol. Donde vive? It's just where you live, isn't it? <laughs> De donde eres? Vivo in Londres. Serving. Good serve from Hachanov. It's back in play. Deep from Djokovic. Cross court from both players. Oh, Djokovic looped it up. Oh, it's landed in on the baseline. Good tactic. Now inside that forehand. He's got Hachanov running. Slice. Forehand into... Oh, he's missed it. He's overcooked it. It's a great construction of a rally from Djokovic. And he just missed the final shot. That's unlike him. Did everything right there, apart from the final shot, which uh, went long. He moved Hachanov round the court and eventually got to the place where he could strike. But Hachanov now 15 love. Good serve. Djokovic is back in play again. Backhand to backhand cross court. It's long from Djokovic again. And Hachanov not even having to do much right now. To serve this out. And Djokovic has got his first serve back both times. Going to be disappointed if he loses this set now. 30 love. Just wide on the first serve. Djokovic has an opportunity now. Again, he's had two opportunities already. Needs to get this point on the board. It's a big point. Good second serve. Djokovic, good forehand return. 
gone wide with the next one. Three more set points for Kalen Hachanov. Surely he can't pass up all of these on his own serve. But we've seen stranger things happen. The crowd chanting again. Big moment. Misses the first serve. Second serve. Hachanov. Backhand. It's just in. Goes down the line. Djokovic on the run. Forehand. Hachanov long with his. And there you go. How funny that in the rallies in this game, when the players had an opportunity to hit into an open court, they both missed it pressure getting to both players right now and it's 40 15 hachanov oh he didn't want to even do the ball toss then he stopped in the middle big serve it's wide hachanov inflicts the first set against novak djokovic in this championships and he takes the first set by six games to four and Djokovic with it all to do. Karim, 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 had to know. Karim, 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 had to know. First set, 6 4, Hachanov. Uh, if you're just joining us, hit a like on this video. We're up to 95. Come on, five more. We get to 100. We get the special song out. I'll do a little dance. There'll be loads of fun stuff happening. Come on, <laughs> let's get this to 100. If you really want to help support the channel, then join our Patreon. We have exclusive content on there. Um, we're going to have even more exclusive stuff coming soon as well. we got Challenge JG, which is my co-host playing against different people. And we're going to have some actual ATP tennis players that we'll be playing against soon. And that content will be coming soon. Make sure you do not miss out. You can be a part of Player Roulette as well, which if you enter into the Patreon, you get allocated a player for all Masters and Grand Slam events. And then if your player wins the tournament, you will win a prize. And you can ask the people who have won in all of the last tournaments in Rome, in Madrid. And uh, they've all been getting prizes sent out. So well done to everyone who's won that. So, uh, who have we got left in Player Roulette, I hear you ask? Well, I can tell you, Player Roulette at the moment, it only has... We've got Goldflake, who has Carlos Alcalaz. Wildlife has Novak Djokovic. Emma, Kasper Rude, Jean with Stefano Tsitsipas, Nancy S with Holger Luna, RDR Pacheco with Kalen Hachanov. We have Ross with Alexander Zverev. And I think that's that's it. I don't think it, obviously Echeverri was too lower ranked, so he didn't get uh, anybody with him. But those are the final people who are left in. Exciting, isn't it? And this one, Djokovic has it all to do. He's going to have to go through in at least four sets. Casey saying, can JG hack it against the ATP players, Ben? Be honest. Well, it's not just JG. It's uh, actually me as well. We've got some fun games that are going to be coming out uh, on the channel. As you know, we're, well, I'm sure you've already been aware that we did get to meet and play with Sebastian Offner while we were in uh, Portugal. And look what happens when players meet game to love all they do is do well in grand slams that's just the way things go like we just a, we're a bad omen in the brackets but when you meet us in person or on, on one of our podcasts you just tend to do quite well ask aslan karatsev how he did after coming on to the game to love podcast and offner as well fourth round is best ever Solundalo as well he got to the fourth round look i mean it's not a coincidence now, is it? These players. All right, Djokovic. He's going with the cap in the second <laughs> set. Uh, he didn't have the cap in the first set. A little adjustment. Maybe the sun was an issue. Serves in. Hachanov goes long. 
Capricorn saying, I'm watching the match and it's crystal clear that Djokovic doesn't want to stay in a long rally. If he wins today, Alcaraz will dismantle him in the semi-final. Oh, we'll have to wait and see. Don't forget, Carlos Alcaraz still has to get through his quarterfinal as well. Neither of these players are in their semi-final. I know it's the one that everybody's teeing up to, but we can't disrespect the players they're playing, like Hachanov and Sissipas. Sissipas, a finalist in Roland Garros already. Two-time slam finalist. Into the net from Hachanov. And Hachanov didn't really show... I say he didn't really show the weakness. I don't feel like Djokovic showed his regular his regular self where you end up crushing your opponent at the back end of a set. So maybe Gary foresaw this coming. Good serve from Djokovic. Maybe the cap was what he needed from the start. Seems to be playing a lot better since the cap went on. We're only two likes away from 100. Come on, people. That thumbs up button. Smash it. Smash it. Going on outside. Got my window open. They're probably thinking, who's that weirdo in there? Good serve from Djokovic in just was that long from Djokovic? I think it was. And it is 40 15. Casey saying, no disrespect, but I don't think the odds are good for Steph. Well, they're good if you're a betting man, probably. We got Alla in saying, we proud of. You, Hachanov, all Armenians are proud of you. Karen, you can do it. Good serve from Djokovic. Forehand inside out. Hachanov cross court. Oh, terrible backhand from Djokovic. One of his worst of the match. It goes about three meters wide. Even going to give that a shank because it was that bad. Got Roland in saying Hachanov has improved so much in the past year, especially with his footwork and staying in the longer rallies. Very impressive. He is impressive. I agree. Serving here at 40 30. And Djokovic's serve that he normally gets in down the tee on this ad side. Not really been there today. Not really getting him out of trouble at all. So. That's something he's going to need to adjust. Maybe it's the body, the angle where he's serving. And that one, he gets away with that. Hachanov attack the second serve. And Djokovic takes the first game of the second set. Indeed. And thank you to everybody who hit the like button on the video. We made it to 100. Thank you for hitting 100 likes. Now we're feeling all right. Because the second hundred's inside. Thank you for helping us hit 100 likes. For giving the people what they like. It's such a delight. It's such a delight. It really is. Thank you, everybody. who Smash that like button. Let's get 200 next. We'll get the drone out. If you want to know what that means, keep pressing. All right, 15 love. Hachanov. Back and cross court from Novak. Down the center. Hachanov making him run. Good power from Novak. And that's the thing that We've been missing. He plays it there into the backhand side. I've noticed it in all of his matches, really. The only run he's been going sort of firepower for firepower was the Fakina one, really. The last match, he really didn't try and hit the ball hard. Thought he. I feel that when you've got as many tools as Djokovic, you just try and assess how you can get past that player using 
the least amount of stress on your body. I think this is the one thing that we have to realize is hitting the ball hard. A great drop shot there from Hachanov. Like hitting the ball that hard over the course of five sets or four sets, it's not easy on your body at all. You're going to aggravate any small injuries or you may even cause yourself an injury on more stress on your body. So if you can get yourself through to uh, like a part of the tournament when then you might need to use it, that may be what Djokovic is doing. And I wouldn't blame him for doing it because if he still feels he can play a different style of tennis and still manage to get past the likes of Hachanov, then maybe that's the way he's got to play it. But at the moment he's a set down, I'm sure he'll be focused intently on trying to get this second set one. But yeah, I reckon he is trying to do a bit of damage limitation on the body as well. Play smart. Don't play so hard. Good serve there. Back in play. Djokovic gone long there. Giving the game to Hachanov. We got Ahmed in. How are you doing? Good to see you. We got Mr. AJ Rimmer saying, I like he. Good. That's what I liked. <laughs> yeah. Good like he. Keep on likeying. Uh, keep on. <laughs> Off to work, says Todd. Enjoy the match, everyone. Cheers, buddy. Good to see you in. If you want to help the channel, then hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to join our membership, you'll get special live chat features and emojis, and we'll give you some shout outs on our live streams too. There you go. I'll pop the link in the live chat. Make sure to join the membership. Come on, join us for all of the fun stuff on GTL. Join the Patreon if you want exclusive content as well. Well, we've got Kathy in saying, holy mackerel, Wall Street Journal just announced that PGA and LIV have merged. Um, I've not read the article, just saw the headline. What could this mean for tennis, if anything? Good serve in there from Djokovic. Come on, Djokovic. We need to see some better serving in this second set. First set, little bit tame. We need to see more of the first serves flying in down the tee or at the angle. That's a good one. Unreturnable again. Much better. And maybe this is what we're going to expect from Djokovic. We see he goes to a tie break in a lot of those first sets. Yeah, tie break in a lot of the first sets. And um, maybe that's just against the slightly lesser opposition. Maybe Hachanov, somebody you can't just force to a tie break, plays a little bit better. And these latter stages, you can't. You, you might just lose the first set and then have to come on from there. Look who we've got in. Another one of our members. It's Fop Base Muldoon saying a weird abundance of backhand errors from Nole too. Yeah, I'm noticing that. I'm not saying it's vintage Novak right now. He's waiting for the wind to subside before he serves. Oh, just wide. He's so close to getting these serves in. They're not a country mile away. They're very, very close, but Second serve in down the tee. Loop back in the middle of the court and into the net. Djokovic attacks the net, forced Hachanov into the error. I think there needs to be a little bit more of that as well. Showing a little bit too much respect to Hachanov in that first set. Allowed Hachanov to dictate rallies. Oh, well, we got your superhero is a Disney character. Mine is Novak Djokovic. Look at that. I didn't think the superheroes were in Disney, though, are they? I thought that was more like Marvel. But prove me wrong. Anyway, good to have everybody in. We're up to 112 likes now. God, look at us go. We're flying through the skies here at Roland Garros. And it is 13 winners, 24, uh, 24 stun errors. No, unforced errors from Djokovic. 12 winners, only 11 unforced errors. 
from Kalen Hachanov. We have slightly different on the screen, but I like these uh, trumpets that they've got in the stands, though. Big fan of the brass bands. Had a lot of them playing at the old uh, the coronation of King Charles. So, I think they're going to be coming back out onto court in just a second. I don't think it's like super hot over there. I mean, if it's anything like here, surely it must be a bit warmer. Oh, 27 degrees, a lot warmer. I take it all back. But here, definitely not 27 degrees. I mean, in, in London today, 16 degrees. I mean, how different it can be. And we're only just across the water. That's the difference in the weather. Terrible. Why is it so bad here? Although I wouldn't want to be locked up indoors while it was nice outside. Good forehand down the line. Djokovic chose to run for it. Hachanov, nice, comfortable first point. I'll pose this question to the people in the live chat. Do you think Djokovic has a better chance of winning Roland Garros from this stage or Wimbledon just in general? I'm not even saying because he's he's in the quarterfinals right now. So makes it more of an interesting question. Does he have a better chance of winning Wimbledon still, even if he has to play many more rounds? Fifteen all. Ooh, misses down the tee. Ahmed going with Wimbledon in general. Wow. Backhand looped up from Djokovic. Forehand Hachanov. And good hitting from Hachanov, forcing Djokovic just to have to try and loop it back in. It's a really good recovery shot there from Djokovic. I feel that that's just the way to get in Hachanov's head. Just give him lots of different paces. And Hachanov hit him with such power now. He's trying to get Djokovic out of there. And it hasn't worked. And the long rally has gone in favor of Djokovic there. He doesn't like it when Djokovic makes him play those extra shots. 15-30. Opportunity. Mini chance here for Novak. Taking his time here. Good serve. Backhand is long. And a nice, comfortable point there for Hachanov on serve. Can I have a look at a little bit of their previous matches and see when was the last one? Last one was in Paris. Two love Djokovic. The one before that, two love Djokovic. What was that, this one? Belgrade. That was the last time they played on clay. Semi-finals. Oh, he lost the first set, 6-4. Maybe we should have looked into that. <laughs> Second serves in. Djokovic loops up the return. The moon ball becoming a bit of a tactic now. From Oh, but he's messed up the next shot. Yeah, the backhand... Coming out with too many errors. I'd love to see the backhand errors on the Djokovic side, uh, uh, on the Djokovic uh, side of things today. Uh, Hachan, I've been a lot more consistent with hitting. Hasn't been choosing to go for maybe as many shots, but being consistent can sometimes win you matches. Don't have to hit big every time. Second serve, though. Djokovic would love to get to a juice here, and he doesn't even have to hit the ball. It's a double fault from Hachanov down the tee. Yeah, and the last time they played on clay, Djokovic was 6-4 loss in the first set, and then a breadstick and a two in the final two sets. So he could do with that right now. Pressure points won by Hachanov, four out of seven. Misses the first serve now, though. Second serve, Hachanov, pressure point, down the tee. Djokovic going moon ball again, <laughs> making Hachanov wait to have to hit his shot. Now he goes short forehand, opens the court up, big forehand. Hachanov, good depth on his shot.
goes into the Djokovic backhand. It's been a little bit ropey. It's ropey again. It goes wide. The backhand, too many errors. It doesn't look like he feels comfortable hitting it at all today. I mean, what's happening with that Djokovic backhand? It's normally solid. Doesn't look solid today. And Hachanov might be good to just try and start playing into it a bit more. He's sort of letting Djokovic dictate the rallies. Good serve there from Hachanov. Back in play. Hachanov. Oh, a brilliant drop shot. Probably his best of the match so far. And he does get that game over the line. Karim, 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 Backhand down across court. This is a bit better from Djokovic. Steps in with a big forehand. Hachanov into the net. Right, here we go. 15 love. Djokovic needs to inject a bit of power into the rallies now. Serve into the net. Taking his time. The crowd definitely silent right now. Nice forehand winner into the corner from Djokovic. Second ball. Starting to become a little bit more clinical now. That's what we like to see. The problem is with this is can you afford to start so slow against the likes of someone like an Alcalaz? And I think that's the big fear. And people probably won't admit it. It's my big fear. If he goes through, is that an ace? Didn't hear anyone call it out. But apparently it is. Oh, good return from Hachanov. Steps in, goes inside that forehand. Djokovic backhand into the net. Hachanov being particularly aggressive on some of these returns of serve and giving himself the upper hand in a lot of these rallies due to that aggression. Needs to maintain that. Djokovic now, 30-15. Just needs to stay on serve. Just keep on plugging away. Maybe Hachanov will break mentally. Ace from Djokovic. He needed one of them. Not seen enough of them. If you are just joining us, please smash a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Serve is in. Down the tee. Slice from Djokovic. A little bit passive. Thought he might go for that a bit more. Backhand down the lines in. Hachanov hits him with much more power. Going deep. And Djokovic backhand error again. Into the net. Just not good enough really today. Not The backhand looks very suspect. Wonder what's causing it. Um... He's, he'll be the only one who can tell us, or maybe his team. Is there some other underlying issue which is causing the backhand to not be firing today? Serve into the net from Djokovic. Second serve coming up. I mean, Hachanov at the moment probably thinking two sets away from a third consecutive Grand Slam semi-final. And there's a Djokovic double fault now. Brings this to juice. 
Djokovic. He's looking a little bit, I don't know, not, not puzzled, just frustrated at himself, making simple errors you can't afford to make. He's just a very proud guy and only likes to be playing at the top, top level. And at the moment, he's not quite reaching that. Just misses the serve down the tee. Second serve. Hachanov's been attacking these all match. So you're going to attack this one as well. Second serve goes out to the forehand. Now, big forehand from Djokovic. He chose not to come to the net. I thought he might, but he puts away the ball with ease down the line. Hachanov guessed wrong. And it is advantage, Djokovic. We're up to 120 likes on the video. Thanks, everybody, who smashed that like button and subscribed. Keep going. If you haven't done it, there's over well, nearly 400 of you in. Everybody hit that like button, and we'll get to 200 within a few seconds. Djokovic, advantage. He's missing the first serve. He's going long on the first serve quite a lot. That's what I'm noticing. Second serve in towards the backhand. And Hachanov fires it long. Djokovic out of that service game. And he's talking to his box, but I'm not sure what he's saying. Well, give him a little button. Hopefully that'll boost him up. Ah, my chair's sinking. <laughs> What's just happened? I'm on the floor. Oh, one second. <laughs> Let's get back up to the regular height again. That's better. Oh, my God. Why does it do that? I sit down on it sometimes and it just... What do they call it? It's not like hydraulics or something. What, is, what do they call it? Like the... Uh, I don't know. Tell me in the live chat. What is it? Yeah, at the end of this set, I'm going to have to go out and get more beers. So I'll have to run out quickly. But as long as the people don't mind. All right. I'll have this one to get us through. Oh, beautiful and cold. Love that. If anybody wants any player button of their choosing, send us in a super chat. And I'll get any player button played of your choosing. Link pinned in the live chat. And uh, you can help us reach our Roland Garros tip target. And if you send in enough, you can also get on the leaderboard. Or you can improve your position on the leaderboard. Hachanov serving. Just misses out wide. Second serves in. Djokovic with a forehand. Playing it into the Hachanov forehand. I feel that Achanov played very well today. V really cut out a lot of errors. Drop shot from him there. Djokovic with a great shot. Didn't even look like it came up. Not sure what happened there. Djokovic slipped. Yeah, that was very odd. Normally clinical in those net rallies. But Hachanov brought him in. Djokovic played what seemed to be a better shot. Hachanov just, it almost looked like it double bounced. But then... Djokovic slipped on the clay and then played it long. Looped up. Serving here, 15 love. Unfortunate for Djokovic there. Was an opportunity. Oh, he's not doing the ball toss. I'm not sure why he stopped. He keeps on stopping his ball toss. I'm not sure if it's people moving or or if 
It's in. Djokovic, good return. Backhand Hachanov. Down the line from Djokovic is good. And it's long. Djokovic feels like that's probably fair that he gets a point after that last slip. Fifteen all. Got Surjan in. How you doing, Surjan? Saying how you doing? Long time no see. Yeah, where you been? Good to see you though, bud. Fifteen all. Ahmed says it's too bloody early for a beer in Canada. Don't know why I put on an Australian accent then. Too bloody early, mate. There you go. Thirty fifteen. Djokovic hitting it well. But Hachanov having success with the drop shot again. It's been one of his best shots of the match, I have to say. Oh, drop shot again. He's brought him in. Djokovic gets to this one. Puts away the next ball. Better. Maybe he'll start learning his lesson. And we got Charles Cross, number five, on the top tippers. And yo, what's up, GDL? Yeah, I mean, really well played. Good serve down the tee. Yeah, it's wide. So, 40-30. Nice return from Djokovic. Oh, it hit the line from Hachanov. Djokovic loops it up in middle middle of the court. Backhand, good angle from Djokovic. Forehand cross court. Forehand Hachanov down the middle. Looped up. Backhand slice. Inside out. Forehand into the net. And it is... There you go, 3-3. Three, three. Hachanov gets out of another game. Karim, Karim, Karim Hachanov. Karim, Karim, Karim Hachanov. Right. 3-3. Three, three. One second. Turn that mic here. You can hear me a bit better now. 3-3, three, three, getting closer to the business end of this second set. If you want any player but unplayed, send in a super chat. We've got Lala saying Djokovic's birthday, May 22nd. Hachanov's is May 21st. So close. Three, three. Djokovic serving. Massive service game right now. Smash the like button if you're just joining. Let play me a service. Charles saying, you know what's really crazy? Saba not dropped a set. Eager's barely dropped a game. Serve into the net from Djokovic. Come on. Need to step this up a little bit. Oh, he's taking his time with this. Second serves in. Forehand into the net from Hachanov. He'll take it. Djokovic run into the chair now. Changing a racket by the looks of it. Not sure what's gone wrong with that one. Maybe a different tension. Yeah, he's just checking which one it is. Definitely something else needed. Maybe he feels like there's a something, something in the air. We'll see if this makes the difference. Djokovic ready to serve. 15 love. 
Good serve from Djokovic. Just over the net with the next shot. Goes down the line with the forehand. Backhand from Kalen. Cross court Kalen. Djokovic hits the net cord there and it goes long. 15 all. Lindsay saying Eager has had zero competition in this slam. Yep, I would agree. Go watch the podcast we did last night. Did one with Covey. It was just non-existent. And I still think it could be non-existent the whole tournament. Great serve from Djokovic. A lot of sp like side spin on it. And it is 30-15. All important game this for Novak. Needs to get to 4-3. Might start to see cracks appear in the uh, in the armour of Kalen Hachanov, who's given a good account of himself up to now. Good backhand back behind him. I just I don't know whether it's been Hachanov's good tactics or good play, or if it's been a lack of strategy and variety from Djokovic today. That's I think I feel like the errors haven't helped. I feel with Djokovic, some of his point like point point by point rally and, and the way his point construction's gone. I think it's been really, really good. Just the, the final product's just not been there on some occasions. Good serve out wide. And he's missed the forehand down the line. And see what he was going for. Out wide, then down the line. Yeah, Lindsay Sand, I already watched. <laughs> I watch all your podcasts with my morning coffee. Oh, that's good. Nice to hear. Uh, Charles saying, Lindsay, I'm biased, but I'm pulling for Coco to take the whole thing. She has the head and the edge, uh, the edge and the head to head. Not against the eager, though, does she? Right, Djokovic here. Backhand to backhand. Drop shot. Brilliant drop shot. Novak. Come on. That's what that's more like it. Gets to the number four. And Djokovic looking to his box and sort of saying something's not quite right. Yeah, I mean, it seems to be a two-horse race on the women's side. That's uh, Maybe Mukova can cause some sort of problems for Saba. I just feel that the two big hitters, they're the ones who look like they're on a collision course. Um, Coco Goff, I know I said it in the preview, I don't really see a cause in eager any trouble. That's, I, I feel that there's it's like a different style of tennis, of different sport, that eager and... Maybe even Saba and the rest of the field. I feel eager and the rest on this Paris clay. Maybe some might say Alcaraz as well, but maybe Alcaraz has been a bit more born on this type of, uh, or suited to this type of clay than a lot of the other people on the tour. Seems to slide so well, such quick movement, never gives up on a ball. But we have seen him drop a set as well. Don't forget in this tournament. But it can happen. You have a dodgy... Everyone has a dodgy set here and there. And when you're playing at this level, the the, well, the opponents are so talented. They can win sets with ease. They just need a break of serve. Good serve there from Hachanov and a good follow-up backhand into the corner. Gary saying this is nervy. Zero margin for er uh, error on Novak on serve in this set. Exactly. I feel like that's the way it is. It's the way it's going to be. 
We got Fart Face in saying much better off the backhand side at the end of that game. The up the line backhand followed by the drop shot. Yeah, I liked it too. Still a little bit nervy, but just got to stay on serve. Problem is, if you stay on serve against Kalen, doesn't mean you're going to win the set. He's good on the tie breaks as well. But you still have an opportunity. Oh, hang on. Just got to find my charger. Oh, what was that? Good forehand cross court. It's up. It's long from Hachanov. It is a 30 15. Here we go. Hachanov serving. Ah, oh, Djokovic sold it or showed his hand too early there. Hachanov played into the empty court. So Hachanov at 40 15. Novak not really been getting close, not even had one break point in this match so far. I do feel that something's going to have to change. And it's long, not going to change right now. We're going in to the business end for this second set. <laughs> four, four. Djokovic needs to hold serve here. More important than ever now. We're getting into that time of the set. You have to. Ahmed saying this looks like it's going to the tie break. Never say never. For all. Djokovic to serve. And he didn't get to this point in the last set. So at least he's there. Good serve. Hachanov back in play. Inside out forehand winner from Novak. Better. One two punch. Sean saying, will JG be rooting against Djokovic because of Rafa? Of course. <laughs> of course he is. He's cheering anybody on to win rather than Djokovic. Protect 23. Or well, I think it's protect 22, to be honest, because can't really protect something you don't have yet. But we won't be seeing Rafa back on a court until next year. Djokovic waiting to serve. Forehand from Hachanov. Cross court from Djokovic. Now Hachanov down the line from Djokovic with a bit more pace. That's long. It's the one thing I've really missed today. I know that I've been talking about it earlier in this set. The Djokovic forehand, like the, the flat one, the hard drilled forehand hasn't really been there. The backhand, a little bit lacking as well. But yet we still find ourselves here 4-4 four, four in the second. And him serving at 30 love. First serve just clips the net core, goes long. Second serve here for Novak. Second serve's in. Cross court from Hachanov. Djokovic, yeah, good shot there. But a great shot from Hachanov. Drop shot, Djokovic brings in Hachanov. Hachanov there. Djokovic down the line. Hachanov with the slice into the net. Better play from Djokovic. Didn't try to just keep on going side to side on the net. Pushed it down the line this time. Keep him guessing. Most people are always going back the same way. Try to go back behind them. A little bit different, that one. Right, Djokovic serving. 40 love, a better service game. This will give him the world of confidence going in to 5-4. And that's long. Finally, a game to love as well. Wow, 5-4 Novak. 
one game away from maybe just nipping this little uh, chance he has here. Just needs to get in early on the Hachanov serve. Will the nerves play a factor now that Hachanov is behind? Serving to stay in a set. That sometimes can be so important. I mean, he did the right thing in that first set, breaking Djokovic early and then was able to just hold on in the lead. Different thing when you're behind. More pressure, scoreboard pressure. Break points won in the tournament. Djokovic won 49%. Hachanov, 34 Today, zero because he hasn't had any. And uh, Hachanov, 14%. But that he still has a set to his name. They've got the old brass band playing again. This is playing on blue Dabba D. Dabba Dai and Dabba D. Dabba Dai. Dabba Dai. 42 minutes on the clock in this second set. Hachanov will be serving. And Djokovic just going over there, cleaning those lines by the service lines. Just making sure there's no shadow of a doubt if one of these is in or if it's out. Hachanov to serve. Good serve down the tee. Too good. Yeah, Gary saying, you beat me to the punch. Why isn't it protect 22? Yeah, I, I no idea. I think it should be. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Protect 23. First serve miles wide from Hachanov. Second serve. It's in. Good return from Djokovic. Needs to get into these rallies. Needs to make it count. Good backhand down the line. Djokovic a bit slow to react. And Hachanov with a poor drop shot there. We go 15 0 opportunity starting to arrive. I feel like the first serve, all important for Hachanov right now. Found one. You see the one that he didn't find. Lost the point. Oh, choosing not to throw the ball up then. Good first serve. It's in. It's back in play though. And he goes back behind Djokovic. 30-15, the first serve. Such a big part of this. Yeah, I mean, he thought he was going inside out with the forehand and then watches it. Yeah, and you can't change direction that quick, especially on the clay. Good first serve again. Djokovic gets it back in play. Oh, Hachanov, an easy ball missed in the middle of the court. The forehand missed into the net. And that's what you just got to do. Just keep getting it back in. And Djokovic's box on their feet, pointing to the head, pointing, saying, come on, it's all up there. Use that mental strength. Well, can Hachanov use his first serve? Long. Second serve, he's going to get to look at here. Second serve. It's in. Djokovic, ooh, he took a lot of pace off of that. Just looping them in on near the baseline. Now slices poor. It's off the backhand side again, Novak. It's another poor backhand from him. He's shaking his head and could have had set point there. Instead, 40-30. Oh, Hachanov escapes. Didn't even need his first serve then. Here he is serving now. 40-30. If you're just joining, hit a like on the video. Good first serve in. Slice from Djokovic. Drop shot is into the net from Hachanov. It goes to Juice. He looks disappointed now. He's shaking his head. <laughs> I can't quite believe it. We're up to 134 likes. Hit that thumbs up now. Come on. Before we get to the end of this second set, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're trying to hit 53,000 subscribers. Serve in. Djokovic return. Wide. 
And it is advantage. Hachanov, the first serve, saves the day again. Right, so another first serve. Would love to be on the menu for Kalen right now. No, just long. Djokovic did get it back in play. And you're saying, come on, Novak, return winner. Second serves in. Djokovic oh, it's onto his backhand, down the line, onto his forehand. He can't keep it in. And Hachanov with a massive hold there. Absolutely huge. Karim, 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 Hachanov. So, 5-5, five, five, and we enter probably a second business end, I'd say. Right, if you're just joining us, one of the 500, smash a like, subscribe. It's a good serve from Djokovic. Now he goes back behind Hachanov. He's chopping it. Good volley from Djokovic. It's looped up by Hachanov. Doesn't make the net. 15 love. Djokovic just got to go through the motions again. Needs to go through this game. Get the pressure back onto his opponent. Serving now. Serves into the net. Second serve, taking his time, bouncing it with the racket, not just the hand. Sort of waiting for something to stop then. Maybe it's the wind. Not sure what it is. He's taking his time before he even starts. Second serve in. Backhand in by Hachanov. Good one down the line from Novak. Backhand into the forehand of Hachanov, and it goes long. Sort of had him scrambling a little bit there. And there we go. Tlanta. Thirty love. Kalen looks ready. The crowd look ready. Is Djokovic ready? Good first serve. Good return. Slice from Djokovic, and it's into the net from Kalen. Is he tightening up a little bit at the back end of this second set? We've got Ellie in Vegas saying a big hello from Vegas. GTL fam, what's the weather like over there? Ellie, what's the time over there as well? Must be early. Djokovic serving at 40 love, looking to get a game to love on the board again. Good serve, blocked back in by Kalen. Nice forehand, winner from Djokovic and he gets to six and at least a tie break in this second set. Game to love. That is correct, everybody. Nole, can he get it over the line before the tie break? Let me know in the live chat. Well, unforced errors. Uh, it's reduced in this second set for Novak. Uh, down to 11. He was at 17 in the first set. So, well, this set could be a little bit... Well, it's already had more games in the first set. So, you know that he's improved. He's got to six games as well. Pressure on Hachanov now. Ellie Saints, 8 a.m. here. Did a 1500 yard swim. It's, I 
can't ever work out yards. We don't really deal with yards here. What's that in meters? Let us know. I'm not going to do the conversion. You can do it for me. If you're just joining, smash a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and join our membership if you really want to get special live chat features. You get special emojis. Your name will show up in the lights. And we'll give you a shout out too. First serve missed. Second serve's in. Djokovic, big forehand. And down the line, Hachanov, long, love 15, just what you don't want when you're serving to stay in the set. Hachanov knows the pressure's on right now. Oh, there you go, 1,371 meters. Well, it's quite far. Well done you. It's about, is that like a mile or something? Uh... First serve into the net. He's not finding the first serve right now, ladies and gents. Serve out wide. Djokovic loops it. Oh, I mean, it's just, what is he doing? Djokovic, why, why not just hit it properly? Does this weird loop in return off of a second serve where he could have just hit it normally. Just went long with it. Trying to be too crafty. Get back to basics. 15 all. First serve, middle of the net. Hachanov not found one yet in this service game. Serving here. Backhand, good one from Djokovic. Backhand cross court. Hachanov runs round his one. Now goes massive forehand into the corner. Djokovic is on the run. Don't know if it's going to make the net, though. It does. Smashes it away with ease, though. 30-15. 30 Hachanov, wow. I mean, what a great forehand. It dipped in like we saw one of Djokovic's winners earlier in the match. Hachanov sort of gives the stare. 30-15. First serve into the net again. Feel like the ball toss is not good enough right now for him. He's not throwing it high enough. Now he's adjusting the sweat band on his arm. Don't know if I like that just before serving. And it's long from Djokovic. Didn't seem to affect Hachanov there. One point away now from tie break. Could be in for the long haul. Crowd trying to get going. 40-15. Hachanov. Long on the first serve again. Hasn't even really found first serve. So Djokovic got to be annoyed himself right now. Not making any impact. Good second serve. Good return from Djokovic. Forehand down the line is good from Djokovic. It's sliced back in. Good backhand. Djokovic sliced down the line from Hachanov. Cross court, Djokovic. Hachanov on the stretch. Drop shot, Djokovic. Brilliant. Really good. Great point construction. Hachanov, great recovery skills. But when you're being moved fast from side to side like that, a change in direction is nearly impossible. And that's where he used it to perfection, that drop shot. If you're just joining... Get us up to 200 likes. We're on 144. 56 away from 200. Hachanov serving 40-30. This game's not over yet. First serves into the net again. Still not finding that first serve. Second serve for Djokovic to look at again here. Needs to put him under some pressure. Backhands in. Down the line from Hachanov. It looked out. And the umpire's rushing off his chair. It was called out. It was a, one of those tough ones to, to really see. He's saying, yeah, it's out. The decision's made. One of those big ones. And uh, looks like the right decision. Yeah, looks like a, a centimeter out on the replay. So good decision from the umpire there. 
and the Serbian fans are standing. They know this is an opportunity. There hasn't been one first serve in for Kalan Hachanov in this service game. And he's sort of blown the lead right now. And there's a first serve in, just as I say that. But he, Djokovic with a good return. They're in the rally. Backhand to backhand cross court. Djokovic moonballing. Hachanov inside out forehand. Now cross court backhands from both. Hachanov with a bit more pace on his. Now down the line, Djokovic scampers into the forehand side. Now loops up another moon ball. Hachanov hits big. Yeah, you're going to keep asking the question. He's going to keep on trying to answer it. And Djokovic has been throwing that moon ball up towards the baseline. And Hachanov has hit a few of them away. I feel that the moon balls to the baseline haven't troubled him as much as the, the sort of the lack of pace onto shots out wide. He hasn't really computed that too well. Djokovic, he's it's a little bit anti-tennis right now, that tactic, refusing to play the hard-hitting long rally and just trying to play an awkward long rally instead. But another first serve missed from Hachanov, and it's a double fault. It goes back to Deuce. It was a mile long, that one as well. But no better time to throw one out there. He's back to Deuce. Djokovic probably thanking his lucky stars. He's not in a tie break right now. He has another opportunity here. Serving. Down the tee. Djokovic gets it back in somehow. Goes cross court. Djokovic is there. It's been to play. Backhand cross court. Djokovic. Cross court. Hatchanov. Djokovic, good depth, goes, no, he's looped it down the line and it's gone wide from Djokovic there. Another error. It's been the sort of the tail of this match. Djokovic, good point construction and poor execution on the last ball. And Hachanov, another chance to get this to tie break. He'll be encouraged. He seems to be doing well in the long rallies against Novak. First serves into the net again. Second serve. Hachanov feeling the pressure. This big point. Knows that he needs to get this. Second serves in. Djokovic, good return. Down the line. Forehand cross court. I think that's wide. It is wide. And it is a hold from Hachanov. And we are going to tie break. <laughs> Tie break time, everybody. Get your tie break predictions in the live chat now. Tie break. Uh, oh, I think I just saw it. I think it's 13 and 4 Djokovic is in this year. Hatch on of 10 to 5. And I'm going to go Djokovic to win it 7 5. Forehand to backhand. Backhand from Djokovic. Down the line, Hachanov. Oh, it's landed on the line from Djokovic. He got a bit lucky there. Drop shot's good. Hachanov can't get there in time. Good first point, but Djokovic got a little bit lucky there. A tiny bit lucky. I feel like the forehand down the line, he sort of looped it up and it curled onto the outside edge of the line. It was far too close to the line for my liking. But he started well. Let's get some of your predictions in. We got a 7-2 Nole from Keith. 7-5 Hachanov from Anya. That surprises me, that one. Serving now, Hachanov. Good serve. It's back in play. Oh, he's gone back towards Novak. Oh, terrible error from Hachanov to go back to him because he's been passed to the net. We got a 7-5 Novak. That was a poor decision. He had the whole court there. I mean, it was just right on top of the net. He didn't have to even drive volley it. Would he live to regret that one? Djokovic, been waiting for that backhand down the line all day. 
you're just joining, smash a like on the video. Hachanov serves in. Djokovic has returns in. He's gone moon ball again. It's a good one this time. It actually lands in. Hachanov's gone the same. There's a big winner from Djokovic down the line. He said, you got to try and play that game with me. Oh, my word. What a forehand. Wow. Djokovic steps in. Absolutely crushes the ball. His biggest forehand of the match. Do not play moon ball tennis with Novak Djokovic. That is a warning. Three love. Took both. So a double mini break for the likes of Novak Djokovic. And he's serving into the sun again. There's no cap anymore. The cap has gone. Maybe the cap wasn't doing uh, everything it should have been doing. And oh, my stream stops. Great. That's just what you need at this time of the match. But Djokovic does get another point on the board. For love. <laughs> Danuke saying, too nervous to predict. Or, and Jinx Novak. Well, don't worry. Same here, says Arm. <laughs> don't worry. You don't have to give a prediction. For love here. Serve. Just wide from Djokovic. Come on, let's get this in. Let's get to number five. This is an all-important serve, this one. Don't give him a, a sniff. Forehand cross court. Djokovic forehand. Hachanov long. Five. Yugoslav in. Hey, how you doing? So don't worry, Novak will win. Five love. And after all the hard work Hachanov's put in in this second set, played some good good tennis, but I, the reason I picked Novak in the tiebreak is that last service game of Hachanov looked particularly nervy. Good return from Djokovic. He's now starting to get the first serves back. Good backhand down the line. Oh! Oh, even the backhand's firing now. Come on. Hit him all. And he's six love at the changeover. That's what I'm talking about. DJ, Six love in this tie break so far. Djokovic now receiving serve. Hachanov first serves in. Djokovic back in play. Down the line, backhand's good. He comes to the net. He goes drop shot. Hachanov's there. Djokovic is there. It's seven love in the tie break. Who's back in town? It's Nole, 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 Nole. One set. Oh, in the quarterfinals. DJ Djokovic is just going to go for a quick toilet break. Uh, I think I'm going to do the same. And uh, please do not go anywhere. Stick with us. And I will be back in just a jiffy. I'll put some uh, nice music on for you while I uh, go away. I'll be literally a few minutes, though. But please stay tuned. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Oh, God, this is an exciting time. Come on, Djokovic. You can do it. All right, I'll put this on. Just while we're waiting. <laughs> Maybe we can have this one on. It's like a nice new one.
a new little composition I put together. Do you like that? Hopefully you did. Right, into set number three. Oh, God, just ran a mile. Right, had John off serving anyway to kick off this third. Brings Djokovic in with the drop shot. Djokovic answers. Oh, Hachanov got there and landed in on the baseline. 30 love. Oh, my word, I need to calm down, calm down, calm down. Good return from Novak. Goes down the line. Djokovic lobs him. He's backpedaling. Turns it around. A good volley, Novak at the net. Brilliant. It is 30 15. Yeah, Novak sort of turned that rally on its head. He was on the baseline, managed to pull out the lob. Missed first serve again from Hatchanov. That percentage has gone down as the match has increased. But we're used to seeing that. Like I said in the in the first, well, was it first set or second set? It's well, I think it was, no, it was first set. His most dangerous is the first set or the first two sets, and then after that, you might start to see him unravel a bit, which. Proven to be true at the moment. Against other players, maybe not so much, but against the bigger players, for sure. Oh. Sorry, get rid of that. Nice backhand return from Djokovic. Lands in on the baseline from Hachanov. He's played it into the corner. Djokovic has gone long. It'll be a nightmare start for the third if Hachanov gets broken early in this third. He needs to avoid that as much as possible. Serve him. Oh, just long on the first serve from Hachanov. Second serve. Gary saying, how good was that tie break? Yeah, I mean, epic. Djokovic turned it on when it mattered. And what do you reckon, Gary, on me saying that Djokovic just doing enough in some of these matches? And good volley in there at the net. Do you think Djokovic is saving his best level? Because for me, I don't think we've I don't think we've even seen close to his best level, this Roland Garros so far. But then you see shots like that in the tie break and you think, oh, there it is. So it leads me to believe that he's playing within himself for for some reason. Is it is he trying to conserve energy? Is he trying does he not feel that there's any point in wasting energy on players that he knows he can beat? 
especially who's gone 8 1 head to head against Hachanov. Good recovery there from Hachanov on the baseline. Great backhand winner from Hachanov down the line. Wow, where did that come from? Djokovic wasn't expecting that. He was on the on the attack there. He was definitely in control. Suddenly Hachanov comes up with the big the big winner. If you're just joining us and you haven't hit a like on the video yet, come on, help the channel grow. We're only 40 away from 200. Come on. I remember the days when we were getting a thousand likes on these videos. We can't even get to 200. Come on, let's do this, everybody. We need your love. We are game to love. It is juice. Game duration, five minutes. How many times have we seen this? Djokovic locking people in early. Good serve. Good return. Djokovic, oh, it's a terrible forehand from Hachanov. Didn't adjust his feet. Swiped at it, and it is break point Novak. Massive right now. Absolutely massive. Into the net. Serve is in. Djokovic inside that forehand. A bit tentative. And that backhand down the line from Hashanov, not as powerful either. And that's long from Djokovic. He's missing the opportunity right now. Ahmed saying, come on, people. Let's hit that like button. That's it. Come on. It's a. F I was going to do a video saying things that are free in the world. And then have me like walking outside, just oh, the, the breeze, the sun. And then maybe this the cuts to pressing the like button. Oh, it's wide from Djokovic. But if I find the time to make that video, I will. But I don't think I have got the time at the moment. Right, advantage. Hachanov. He can't afford to get broken now. Djokovic loops it back in. Oh, and Hachanov was hitting them in the last set and the set before. That one wide now, the big, powerful forehand. Still a lot of conversing going on with his box as well, Novak. Not sure whether it's tactical, whether it's... Stuff to do with like mental. Backhand from Djokovic. Inside out forehand, Djokovic. And again. And now drop shot. Hachanov can't get there again. Wow. Impressive stuff from Novak. Serving. Advantage Djokovic. Returns in. Massive forehand. Djokovic is there. I mean, he's looped it up, but just in hope more than anything. He's still talking to his box. Still talking to him. He's frustrated. It's back to Juice again. He's frustrated with himself. See, even the top players lose their rag at the best of times. Hachanov, forehand. Djokovic, forehand cross court. Yeah, it's into the net from Hachanov, who screams in frustration. As you can see, the inconsistency starting to creep into his game now. Maybe there's some tired arms, some tired legs, a lack of mental fortitude. Lack of movement, maybe. Positional play off slightly. 
Let petit service. Premier service. Good first serve. Forehands back in play. Backhand to backhand cross court. Backhand again. Forehand from Djokovic. And cross court from Djokovic again. Backhand. Down the line from Hachanov. Cross court's good from Novak. Down the line from Novak's really good. Hachanov playing defence. Djokovic goes drop shot. It hits the net cord. It goes over. And it is the break. That is right. Wow, what a way to get it. Boom. And Djokovic does break. The beginning of the third set. DJ. So Djokovic gets the early break in the third set. And that's not a good sign if you're a Hatchinov fan. Gary saying, Ben, I don't think Novak is saving anything. He cannot afford to do that at this stage of his career. I do think he is still capable of coming up big at big moments. I think we'll have to agree to disagree a little bit here, Gary. This part of me feels that he thinks that he can probably beat certain players. And I feel that there is still a little bit of a level in there that is waiting to come out, but he's not prepared to go to it yet. And he might might be saving it for the likes of a young Spanish kid because he's going to need every little bit of juice left in the tank when playing someone like him. That could take everything out of him. Ace from Djokovic, really good. Ardul saying, eat him all, here we go. Ardul still in second on the top tippers. Only, well, he's a sandwich between Rafa fans, Sankit and Kathy. Kathy could knock him down a peg just with five cents. <laughs> he's still there. Yeah, Ardo saying, no, they're saving it for Carlos. Well, maybe he's just going to be, just needs to get through this match and then he can maybe sit there and just hope. He can hope that maybe Sitabas runs Carlos very long, but there's no way of knowing how that's going to go. Uh, Imad saying, Ben, who do you think will win? Well, I'm going with Djokovic in this one. Sean saying, angry Nole comes out when he needs it. Yugoslav saying, Ben, if Novak wins RG, will you be making a new song, 23? <sighs> yeah, I will. The only difference between making the 22 one and making the 23 is the 22 one was ready to go. Uh, I was making it during the Australian Open. This one, I haven't started making one. <laughs> so if you, you'll have to wait, it won't. If it does come out, it will come out probably a week or so after the tournament has finished. But there will be one. And Novak complaining because he's saying this is clearly long. Yeah. And the umpire does come. I mean, it's you can even see a massive gap between the ball mark. And the line, it's not even close. One of the line judges not doing their job. Sean saying, get JG on backing vocals for the Jocko 23 song. Yeah, maybe I'll get him on main lead vocals, I think. Main vocals, that's not a thing, is it? Good ace from Djokovic. There you go. And it is consolidation. <laughs> to DJ OK E I Joker 
You got the Adams family playing again in the crowd. Still don't understand that one. Why the Adams family keeps on cropping up in this tournament. Forehand is a good drop shot. Really good one from Hachanov there. One second, just need to reply to an email quickly. Apologies. All right, here we go. 15 all. Good serve there. Forehand eclipsed the net cord, goes long from Hachanov. It will be 15 30. Shots that were just easily flying in in the first set and most of the second now not seeming so easy at all. Taking his time here, 15.30. Let the premier service. Serving. Good serve. Back in play from Novak. Nice forehand from Hachanov. Just gets that one over the line. 30 all. Crowd trying to get a little chant going at the moment. Can't to hear who they're chanting for. Seems to be a big section of uh, the crowd missing at the moment. Serving. Misses the first serve. So in second serve here. It's in. Good second serve, quite powerful, but it's back in play. And Djokovic now hitting a bit flatter on the second serve. Hachano! Big winner. And Djokovic lofts his racket high and applauds that winner from Kowlen. I mean, it deserved it. One of his, well, if not his best shot of the match, it was not an easy one. It was bouncing up into the corner. And Djokovic, all you can do is applaud that one. It was on the run. Djokovic, very complimentary. Knows greatness when he sees it. Has to look in the mirror every day, doesn't he? <laughs> All right, 40 30 second serve. Great return there from Djokovic. And it lands out from Hachanov. All right, Juice, here, here we go. Hachanov thought he had a great shot. Novak proved he can hit those as well. Great serve out wide. Djokovic keeps it in. But yeah, no point running for that. Hachanov fidge, finishes it off. Fidgeted, fidgeted it off? That's not a word. He's fidgeting, is he? Finishes it off. ba 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 da ba 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 da ba Djokovic trying to open the eyes a bit there. Look at a bit of light in. Returns in from Djokovic. Forehand down the line. In hits the net cord from Hachanov. It lands in. Djokovic somehow gets there. Goes round the net. 
And that Tarnov does hold and he laughs. He's like, I can't even believe that one came back. Round the net. Achanov does hold. Uh, I'll be back in just two ticks. There should be no special rules for Novak Djokovic at all. Hey, welcome back, tennis fans. Here we are for something groundbreaking. Some might call it trial of the century. Some might call it trial of all time. We did not expect to be covering the first Djokovic watch along of the year and he's not playing up an opponent he's playing him against the state shout out to everyone joining us of course we've never had so many people in the live chat i feel like this is the perfect opportunity to bring all 23,000 of you up to date with what's happened so far did not think by the third that ben would be rooting for rafa and jg would be wishing it's all over yeah, a bit weird. I mean, that's what the pain to end. I don't even care if he's crawling on his knees and hitting the ball over the net by the fifth. If he gets there, it'll be incredible. I'm just calling it as it is. I'm trying to be objective watching the match, and he's lost the match. What do you want me to do? He hasn't lost it. He's still in it. Why do you keep saying he's lost it? You think, okay, put a bet on then. What odds would you get on Rafa? Two sets down. Eight. Stick a bet on. Seeing as he's not out. I was just disappointed you're not uh, supporting your man. No, you're being delusional, Ben. I'm back again. Oh, there's no armrest there. I had to lean on it. <laughs> Here we go. I'm back. <laughs> and they're coming back out on court. Couldn't go without a drink, could I? No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Right, Djokovic to serve. Up to one. How many likes on the video? 174. 26 away from 200. Come on, smash the like button if you're just joining. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Serve there. Back in play. Charnov, long. Going for things. That he think, feels like he has to try and force his way back into this match. He is behind. And what seems like a very, very close match is starting to unravel. We've seen it many times before. Djokovic imposing his will. Hachanov's level dropping. Is Djokovic's level going to keep rising? That's the question. Normally takes him a set to get going these days. Proved to be the case again. Ended up losing the first set instead. No tie break. Had the tie break in the second one this time. Good forehand from Djokovic. Too powerful. And it's long from Hachanov. It's 30 love. We got Beli Labudin saying Joker. Oh, ace from Djokovic down the tee. Much better. Looks a little bit more self-assured now. Serving. Into the net with the first serve there. Going to go for a game to love here. Serve is in. Hachanov down the line. Djokovic, oh, on the stretch, but with a brilliant forehand game to love. <laughs> right, so 3 1 Djokovic here in the third. 23 likes from 200. Second serve, Hachanov. It's already fallen off that serve. It's a good second serve. Djokovic, a miss hit. 
And he's gone for the lob. It's long. Didn't get under the ball enough. Catzilla. Canzilla? No, Catzilla. This makes sense, does it? Canzilla. Right, 15 love. Serve is into the net. Second serve. Hachanov needs something. Nearly a double fault, but it's in apparently in a good backhand into the corner. He's hitting the lines, and that's what you got to do. Love to the, oh, 30 love, sorry. Ace, that's better. No surprise that now he's down the break. Hachanov starting to play a bit better. Pressure off in this set, at least. Whoa, great serving from Hachanov. And it is a game to love for him. I feel like I'm falling down. This chair keeps getting low, 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 low. Oh, time for another drink, I think. Oh, that's better. It's a good sound, isn't it? Oh, we've got two hours, 34 on the clock. We've got 372 of you in. We're only 18 likes away from 200. The trumpets come out again. Maybe I should get some of my trumpets uploaded. I could have some of my trumpet songs uploaded. I'm not sure what song they're playing at the moment. They're playing playing something interesting, that's for sure. That's what it sounds like. Very interesting songs they're playing. Should have a little bit of Nole Love. They're coming back out on on court. Danugo saying you recovered from your hay fever, Ben. Yeah, it's not no, it's nowhere near as bad today. I was all sorts of problems the other day. I was saying this is the sickest Nole song. Send me the link. Uh, it's only on the Nole AI track, so you can catch it on that one. And maybe I'll release it as a separate song. Goldflex saying the beginning of this could totally pass for some Balkan beats. No, 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 no. <laughs> Djokovic serving three two. No, le, bam. No, le, bam. Taking his time here, Djokovic. Good return there from Hachan. I've good depth on it. Backhand to backhand rally. They go. Good backhand into the corner. Hachanov gets there. And Djokovic just steps in, puts it away. Looking more flow state Djokovic right now. 
כן, זה לא. So Goldflake's got a bit of a win-win situation potentially in the semi-finals if we get the Alcalaz Djokovic semi-final. Could be you win if you get Djokovic winning. You win if you get Alcalaz winning. Good forehand from Hachanov. Djokovic just chopping it back in play. That's not not good enough from Hachanov. Djokovic is going to try and lob him, but that's a poor lob as well. 15-30. Needs to do more. Djokovic seemed like he had the opportunity there. Hachanov let him back in. And he went for some very poor lob. Not like he'd usually go for. Didn't get under the ball enough. It was a very easy height for Hachanov. It is 15.30. Just long on the first serve from Hachanov. Second serve. Sin. Forehand. Amazing forehand. Now he comes into the net. Great forehand winner from Djokovic. It's all starting to come together for him. You play any ball mid-court, looking like he can put anything away right now. And he has two break point opportunities here. Hachanov feeling the pressure. Maybe legs starting to get a bit tired. Maybe he's thrown his best at Djokovic and he hasn't gone away. 
And Djokovic now looking for a double break. He has double break point to do so. Good forehand cross court. Down the line. Backhand from Hachanov down the middle. Now down the line. Cross court backhand from Novak. Drop shot from Novak. It's too good. He doesn't have the legs anymore. I'm not sure where he pushed the ball afterwards, but it is the break for Novak Djokovic. Incredible stuff. That's it. We Goldflake saying, ha ha, I will buy my roulette prize myself if no one wins, Ben. Don't have to buy it yourself. If, uh, if, if your roulette wins, you don't even have to get an Alcalaz related prize. You can request a Nole related prize if you want. I'll get one made up for you and then we'll get it sent out to you. You just have saying, Where is JG? He is not here today. He's traveling. He'll probably be with us tomorrow. So, 5 2. And a bit rude not to get his button out after a double break, don't you think? I do. Ah, the Joker. Right, 5-2, serving for the third set. Novak Djokovic, if you're a Novak Djokovic fan and you are a member on GTL, throw those Djokovic faces into the live chat right now. Got Danuke saying, Ben, do you think the Novak's bad timing of shots have to do with the sudden change of ball types, as Carlos was referring to in his post-match interview? Mm, no, I'm going to go with no on that one. I don't. He looks fine now. I just feel that I feel that Novak's just a bit of a slow starter these days. Like people might say he was always a slow starter. I feel like even more so now. Feel that it takes him a longer time to get into a match, and the better the opponent, the longer he's going to take to to break them down. That's why the big fear obviously lays with somebody like an Alcalaz. He's such a fast starter, brilliant backhand down the line, and if Djokovic can't find this type of form early against someone like Carlos Alcalaz, then I worry for the first couple of sets. That's all. Like how they might go. I feel like he might even need to grab the first set to make it more interesting because otherwise it's it's tough. From two sets to down against somebody like Alcalaz, you he he's just oozing confidence. He'll just start playing even harder shots. Whereas a one all, you see it, the match would be a lot more open. That's my opinion on it. But Good shot here from Djokovic. He's great inside out forehand. Three set points for Novak Djokovic playing just with ease right now. And this is why I was saying what I was saying, Gary, because he's played Hachanov before. He knows what to expect. And he's beaten him using similar tactics before. So why wouldn't he just do that again? Why would he go to the well and say, I'm going to use every bit of energy I've got to try and get him out there. And there's the smash. There's a game to love. And there is the third set. Wow. Uh, and interesting to look at. I just want to look at the point by point just for a second. Because I think in that third set, Djokovic, yeah, his last three service games, all to love. So, goes to show, 
getting better as the match goes on. Hachanov goes off down the tunnel. He needs a toilet break. He needs some sort of break. He needs something. But it's just one of those things. Novak Djokovic, I feel I might be wrong. He would never admit to it either. So it's just pure speculation on my part that I think there's always another level in there. But he knows how to play against certain players. And why would he bother to bring it out unless he feels perfectly comfortable to do so? He knows that certain players will wilt a certain number of hours into a match. And maybe the it's the two-hour mark for Kalen Hachanov. Maybe it's even sooner. But he threw like the kitchen sink at Djokovic. And look at this for stats for the... Uh, for the for this third set, I mean, I'm just going to bring this up on the screen just because I think it's pretty incredible anyway. So just bear with me a second, and I'll show you this. This is like the this is the level that we're talking about now. Give me two ticks. So just so that you're aware of what what level is going on right now. So this is Djokovic from the third set. 19 winners, one unforced error. Uh, Hachanov, fair play, still a positive winners to unforced errors, but four aces there, 100% of points won on second serve, 91% of points won on the first serve, break points two out of four, and 32 points to 18. Didn't give Hachanov any break point opportunities. I mean, an exemplary third set from Novak Djokovic. And if I'm perfectly honest, I don't see the fourth set being any different to this one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Farmate saying that's a turnaround when he couldn't find a backhand. Yep. Maybe it was the racket. Remember, he changed the racket. He put a cap on, then he took it off again. So maybe it was the old cap on off trick that uh, did it for him. Yeah, Ellie's saying, I turned away for 30 minutes and he's come back like a monster. Yes. A, a goat-like monster, maybe you could call it. But yeah, they are the stats from the second set. Just let you absorb those for a few more seconds before we get the main scoreboard back out again. There we go. I think they are going to do it now. There we go. Normal scoreboard coming back. Well, they're having that the uh bam bada bam 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 bada bam. I don't think I've got any music like that that I could potentially I like to make a bit of music like that. I like to make a bit of a cinematic um I don't know what you call it. Just like orchestral style music. But I don't really have anything in my yeah, I don't really have anything in my locker which is like ro there's more like royal, like a royal music or something like that. Um I think the best thing that I could probably dig out, maybe I don't know if this one's one of them. I'll throw it in there, see what it's like, see if this is a good build up to the, this fourth is it yeah this fourth set as Hachanov starts off with love 15 to start us off a fanfare that's it yeah, it's like a royal trumpets isn't it wide from Hachanov there he looks annoyed and I'm not surprised yeah, hoo ha in saying Djokovic has started to work uh, Hatchkov out now I think you mean Hachanov, maybe. Uh, it's Gary saying, Ben, you will never convince me that any player lets a competitive set go by. Hachanov was lights out. Not anymore. Novak was off kilter and got back on his horse like he does almost, uh, or like he almost always does. I didn't say I'd, he let him have the set at all. I don't think he lets people have sets. That's far from the truth that's far from what i was saying gary i just believe 
that Djokovic knows that he can play a certain type of level and save his body. You got to remember the guy's what is he 35 36 something like that. The body doesn't get any younger and he's going to need every little bit of juice in the tank to get past the the more important matches. He's beaten Hachan of eight times. He knows he can beat him, and he knows that Hachanov wilts as well in matches. So all he needs to do is just remain calm, and Hachanov hitting it back to him now. Good drop shot volley there. Drop volley, rather. Yeah, Gary, I agree with that. Novak has rarely played better than in, he did in that set. It's 30 all now. Hachanov needs this game desperately. This is a desperation game from Kalen Hachanov. We're 10 likes away from 200. Smash the like button if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe if you're new. Good serve out wide from Hachanov. And massive forehand. Big roar from the Russian. Right, so 40 30, first serve misses. Could find ourselves in a juice very, very soon. Second serve. Forehand power from Djokovic. Good play from the from Hachanov there, though. Got it back on the baseline. And Djokovic into the net. Hachanov, credit where credit's due. Give him a little button. Karim, 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 Hatch, no. Karim, 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 Hatch, no. Makes me want to do the little Hachan of shimmy. <laughs> the shoulders come out. He loves it, doesn't he? Well, uh, yeah, let's see. I can't remember if this is the music that I was... It's another one of my compositions. We'll pop this one out, see if it's uh, any good. Yeah, this is like more of a battle, I called it. Drop the victim into the net with the first serve. Cross court from Novak. Massive forehand from that. Jokovic serving. 15 love. Nice, nice into the net from Achanov. There you go. That's that little piece. Do you see what I mean, though? It's a little bit orchestral. It's a little bit um, dramatic. I think I prefer the, like, the more drama when it comes to those type of things. Don't go for the, the happier style. But uh, let me know your thoughts on that. Djokovic, 30 love. Good serve. Oh, let Premier Service. Serving here, 30 love. Great serve into the net from Hachanov, though. 40 love. And should be noted, 
Djokovic hasn't dropped a point on... He's only dropped one point on serve in the last... One, two, three... There's five service games. I mean, if that's not impressive, let's go back to the other set, actually, as well. Uh, wow, it goes back even further. Wow, one, two... That's a game to love. Put this into perspective. Since four all in the second set, Djokovic has had one, two, three, four, five, six games to love. <laughs> six games to love and one to 15. He's dropped one point on serve. That's nuts. I mean, that's just crazy. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, six games to love is what six and no, nah, we're not talking about the tiebreaker, just actual just service games. Six games to love. But the tiebreaker, if you add that in, I mean, he won that seven love. So, I mean, you can include that in there as well. He hasn't dropped a point on serve in. That's it. He's promoting your channel. <laughs> Six games to love. Didn't even press it then either. Come on. Need you on the ball. That's what I've been saying about Novak. When the serve suddenly starts firing, you're in trouble. That's wide from Hachanov. We've got Rico J in saying, Go, Karen! Yeah, maybe uh, have a look. Maybe have a look for face and try and find out how many points from that four all up to now on his serve. If you include the, the breaker, I can't think what it would be. So that's probably six, seven, seven times, seven times four, 28. So it'd be 29 because he lost one of the points. So that's 28 out of 29. And then how many times does he serve in the tie break? One, two, uh, three. So he's won. So he's won 31 out of his last 32 points that he's served. <laughs> I mean, it's an unreal percentage, isn't it? 31 out of 32. That's not even normal. Well, at the moment, he's looking like he could potentially break here. Noki in as well. Good to see you. Saying Nole is sending a message to Alcalaz with this beat down. Nice forehand there. See into the net from Hachanov. The wheels have well and truly fallen off. Gary saying, Ben, good music for just before the Jocko Alcalaz match if it comes to pass. Yeah, for sure. I mean, this is nuts. This is a crazy level right now. Djokovic with break points. It's into the middle of the court. Good backhand. Hachanov backhand to backhand with him right now. Down the line. Forehand to forehand. Down the line from Djokovic. A bit more pace on his shots at the moment. He's keeping Kalen behind the baseline. Amazing angle from Djokovic. It's just over the net. Puts it away. And it's the break for Nole. Nole, Nole. Nole, Nole. Ah, Goldflex saying, you describe him well, like a machine that needs a bit of time to warm up. Most definitely. 
these old bodies do you just take it from uh personal knowledge <laughs> take a little bit longer to warm up i'm very close to uh the Djokovic age so i know uh exactly how it feels and jg he can uh agree with this statement as well that um when we ever play each other jg always takes the first set and it's normally convincing and even the second set is normally convincing but by the third set that's normally when i'm ready i'm ready i actually start playing a lot better after two sets down because i'm finally warmed up and uh i feel that maybe he doesn't or maybe he spends a lot of energy hitting hard in the first two sets. So I don't know. It's a bit of a strange one, and especially on clay as well. I'd much prefer it's a lot harder, obviously, to hit the winners. But for me, sliding around is much better. Amit saying, what a song. Nole Nole, the Joker, who composed, who composed it. Thank you. It's me. It's my voice. How can you not tell? DJ OK E R Joker. Golf it's saying, haha, I'm backing you in the 30 plus category. Most definitely am there. I'm definitely not in as in a finer fit all as Novak Djokovic on a tennis court. I'll tell you that for free. There is no way. I'm like, no lay. Alex saying, sounds like you need a long warm up. Well, I keep saying to JG, I'm, I might just play a set of tennis before we meet and then, or play, if we can have a practice hour, then I'll be ready to go. So maybe all I need is just to be on a practice court for an hour before we play and then I'm ready. But then you got to wonder. How much, how, what's my gas tank going to be like? I don't know. I don't even know. Might be more competitive, though. I don't know. Or it might be terrible. Good return there from Hachanov. Nice forehand. Brilliant winner from Hachanov. You <laughs> Ben is very talented in more than tennis. Yeah, well, I wouldn't even class myself talented in tennis. So probably just talented elsewhere. Hachanov just pissed off right now. He's just trying to hit winners. We're only four likes away from 200. If you want to see the drone, definitely press that like button. Good serve from Nole. But Hachanov not happy. He thinks it was out. Nice. No, he's got the umpire down for nothing. Oh, James Kyothathong. Yeah, exactly. I'll have better coordination, but you're zero stamina. You'll be surprised. I can probably play for quite a few hours. Like, I'll get around the court pretty quick. And as long, I don't know, as long as I'm not uh, in, 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 in any way injured, I think I can still play for quite a long time. Trouble is, some days it's just so bad. It's just like a long day of punishment on the court. And I feel like I just have to call it quits on some of the days. It's a break point opportunity here for Hachanov, though. Just as we everyone getting too, too comfy, it would seem. We got Alexander saying, when is Alcaraz City Pass? Well, it will be in exactly two hours time. Unless this one runs more than two hours, which fingers crossed for Novak, it doesn't. First serve misses. Second serve for only two likes from 200. Come on. Hit that like button. Backhand from Hachanov. Good backhand, Novak. Backhand, Hachanov. Forehand, Novak. Forehand, Hachanov. Out wide. Djokovic with the angle. Hachanov with his own. Down the line from Novak. Surely it's too good. It is. And he points to the box. <laughs> and he kisses and points so this one's for you wow what a shot that is Alex saying Ben are you happy with your weight 
could be slightly tr more trim around the midriff, I have to say. Probably these don't help. But I'm not overweight. I'd say I'm like about 75 kilos, if uh, that's it's not too bad. Need a bit more definition, that's for sure. Need a better posture and better definition. Come on, we can sort it out. That's it. Shoulders back, smash it. Serves in. Forehand cross court. Down the center from Novak. Hachana with the backhand. Cross court. Novak's good. Steps in. Goes back in that corner again. We've been there so many times before. He keeps pointing to the corner. Pointing to the box. Almost like he's been given a tactic which he wasn't employing in the first part of the match. And now I think it's that one in behind Hachanov into the, into the backhand side. He fires it over there. Is it backhand side? No, sorry, forehand side of Hachanov. And then he goes back there again. Hachanov catches him coming back. And Hachanov, maybe there's something his box noticed that Hachanov never waits there to see if he plays it back there again. He always moves across. And Novak's just been popping it just in the, in the other side of the court, just trying... Ah, uh, well, that's a double fault from Novak there. We've got <laughs> Gary saying, Ben, you could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Novak in karaoke. Yeah, probably. Well, I think I beat him in karaoke. Ahmed saying, at what height? Uh, 5'10", mate. Goldflake saying, Ben, you speak. Uh, you speak, I see a mirror. <laughs> you're self-critical as well i feel <laughs> we've got amit being very nice as well ben's baritone voice is so befitting for podcasts like some professional you're too kind amit <laughs> right uh, it is break point here hachanov baritone I don't get to hear that word too often. I get called more monotone, more than baritone. Right, good serve there from Djokovic. Oh, no, it's a let. Second, second, not a second serve, it's a first serve. Again. Getting confused. Ace, that's the serve he's been looking for all day. Down the tee, on the ad side. We've hit 200 likes. I'll get that out after this game. Do not worry. You can count on me, son. Right. Seven minutes into this game. Who's shouting out? Just probably he's about to serve. Shut up. It's annoying. Good serve. Great return. Played it back in the center. Hachanov looks a bit leggy out there right now. Not getting the right. <laughs> Not getting the uh, right positioning on the backhands. Alex saying monotone. Very humble. <laughs> now, sometimes I listen back to myself and I think, come on, give a bit more life in that voice. But sometimes you just have to keep it along the level just to... Uh, Help people get to sleep, probably, with this voice. We used to always laugh because our podcast used to make it onto this playlist called Time to Sleep. <laughs> so <laughs> used to always make me laugh. And that is a double fault from Djokovic again. What's happening to him right now? Come on, Novak. Taking his eye off the prize right now. He's up a break. Just needs to consolidate and you feel that this match is done. He's just teasing the crowd. Can't tell who they're even cheering for right now. Shadow starting to make its way across the court. Serving. Good serve. Back in play from Hachanov. Deep. 
Good back. No, it's long from Hachanov on the backhand. He's forcing it. When it is, advantage Djokovic. Surely not another double fault from him in this game. Do not do that, Novak. Come on, sort it out. Let's see what he's made of here. Djokovic waiting for the, the cries of the crowd to just die down a little bit. It's always interesting just watching the shadow behind Djokovic, I always think. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. His big shadow. Here's a second serve. We've been here before. If you're just joining us, sm smack the like button. Smack it on the floor. Good second serve. Kicker down the middle. Good forehand. Hachanov keeps it in play. Somehow drop shot. Djokovic is good. Oh, Hachanov's got there. He plays it back behind him. Oh, it's a little rally at the net. Hachanov, ah, it's a tweener. Oh, Djokovic has missed it. And Hachanov's dancing around the court. The tweener gets it done for the Russian. And Djokovic can only laugh. Can't quite believe that rally. Oh, my word. What a rally at the net. Well played, Hachanov, though. It seemed almost impossible. But the tweener was there and Djokovic, it comes off the wrong part of the racket and just into the net from Djokovic. And Hachanov jumps around the court, lofting his arms. At least it's given a bit of adrenaline that. We're 10 minutes into this game. Maybe you can see signs of life there. You see, see signs of... Uh, Maybe concern on the Djokovic side. Serving here. Good serve from Djokovic. Oh, just over the net. And there's that forehand into the corner. And that is the one which he has improved on in this whole entire match. He's but Him or his team have spotted the weakness and or spotted Djokovic's strength, which is the... Ball back into that same corner of the forehand side of Hachanov. Golf like saying, don't take it the wrong way, but I do replay GTL when I fall asleep. <laughs> it's comforting. <laughs> oh, well, as long as we're helping people fall asleep around the world, that's the main thing. Good return from Hachanov. Drop shot. Djokovic finally gets it done. And he lofts the fist aloft. He's punching the air because he knows how big that game was in the whole run of things. And he finally consolidates the break. And we can get the 200 like button out. Woohoo! Send in the drone! Two hundred. Let's go. Let's get to three hundred. Can we get there before the end of the match? I leave it to everybody out there. If you're enjoying yourself and you're enjoying this performance, not just from me, from Djokovic, <laughs> then hit the like button. Oh, Achanov with a uh, nice serve there, ace. Gary saying, "Golfer, don't take it wrong." Because I don't find it boring or monotone. Just comforting to hear them talk on and on and on and on. <laughs> That's it. Uh, love the drone. What is that of our voices or that drone? <laughs> Good serve from uh, Hachanov. Djokovic, nice backhand down the line. Too powerful. Alexander, I'll wake up to the sound of Barbara, Barbara. Krajkova. Mr. AJ Rimmer saying, woo, that's great. He loved that, didn't you? He loved seeing the drone come in. Dropped off a 200 likes. Let's get the 300 one out. Can only get, the, get it out once we hit it. 
Great return from Djokovic. The drop shot, Hachanov. Djokovic there with his own one. It's down the line. Hachanov wins the point. Karen, Karen, Hachanov. Yeah, I mean, really good play. Seen some great rallies from these two in this match. It's been very entertaining. Three hours, 18 minutes on the clock. If you are just joining, remember to hit a like, subscribe if you're new. If you want to join the membership, do that too. And Hachanov does ace to get this in at 3 2. Karim, 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 Hachanov. Karen Hatch now. Wow. I mean, what a drop shot. The, what a get from Hachanov. And then the net rally. It was absolutely sublime. They've got the Rocky theme now. Yes. Love that, Alex saying, first time seeing the Hachanov button. M saying, Karen, you absolute dosser. And Goldberg saying, yeah, replay the greatest Djokovic hits, Gary, happiness and comfort. Uh, haha, the 200 like drone. Yes, indeed. Well, well, well. Sorry, I just got a right quick message and I will be back with you in two seconds. Apologies. One second. Good serve there. Oh, it's just long from Hachanov. It is 15 love. Great serve, but it is long. Djokovic looking for a 4-2 lead here. Gene's in. Where have you been, Gene? Backhand in on the baseline. Forehand looped up. Wow, massive forehand from Hachanov. He's putting everything into this right now. Serving fifteen all. Gene Saint Karen is really playing like a top ten player. This is impressive. Well, he does make the quarters or the or semi-finals of slams, Gene. It's regular there these days. Nice inside-out forehand from Djokovic. Backhand to backhand. It's into the net from Hachanov, though. More errors. This is, you feel, could be the unraveling of him. What did I say at the end of the last set? I saw this go in the exact same score, I think. Or more of the same. I still sort of do. Djokovic holds here. I think he'll break. There you go. Ace from Djokovic. Great serving. Hachanov rooted to the spot.
seven. <clears throat> nice forehand down the line. Hachanov can only loop it up. Does go long. Djokovic dropped a point in that service game. Bit disappointed in him, but it is 4-2. I mean, that's... Uh... I mean, the last service game that he had was a, a little bit of a weird one. He did go to break point, but up until then, he'd have a, a run of ridiculous proportions of 31 points, one out of 32 on his serve. And someone just shouting out as Hachana was about to serve there. 4 2 down. Good serve. Djokovic back in play. Backhand to backhand. The shadow now covering half the court. Always frustrating to. Watch when it's like that. Gene saying this match was really stressful. Really? I thought it was pretty entertaining, to be honest. Did you have doubts then? Are you telling us, Gene? You're doubting your man? Shouldn't ever doubt him. If he went two sets down, maybe start to get a little bit more worried. But until he's two sets down, a double breakdown... I'm not going to start getting that worried. Oh, clips the neck cord there. Hatchanov. Long from Hatchanov. Here's Love 30. Gene saying the first set, I was really worried. Why? Come on, mate. You th you feel like he's never lost the first set to Hatchanov before. Last time they played on clay, he lost the first set. Good serve there. Djokovic into the net, and it is 15-30. Yes, no, I think this is fair. I feel like this is good prep to face a tough opponent before facing... Everyone keeps saying Alcaraz. I mean, it is the more likely, but I feel like just keep saying it. It's going to cause problems for him. Sissi pass. No one's expecting him to win. And there you go. It's long from Acharnov. Two break points. There you go. Goldflex saying, we got to get you guys some of this Balkan, optimi Balkan optimism and underdog survivor spirit, Gary and Gene. Yeah, exactly. Come on. What's wrong with you two? Stick with me and Goldflake. We we got a bit more confidence. Wow, great forehand from Hachanov. Saves a break point. Inside out, power. Still another break point, though. No chance in. 30 40. Good serve. Oh, Djokovic into the net. Hachanov celebrates that one, but is it too little, too late for the Russian? Sort of wearing the colours of BMP Palabas. The colours of the scoreboards. <laughs> the green and the... Uh, the green and the white. Wow, great serve. Ace. I think they're having a look at it, but I think it looked good to me. Oh, it could be out. Nah, he's staying in. I think that's the one thing on clay. You just got to make, always make sure you're just having a look. Keep your eye on that ball mark. <laughs> Find it's a tough thing to do. I'm sure it comes better. But there you go. Well played to Hachanov. Does hold serve. Keeps it just the one break. What do I know, eh? Karim. 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 Hachanov. Right, so 4-3, 
Djokovic still has to try and close this one out. Two games away. Hopefully he can have another comfortable service game. And then it'll be just the one game we're waiting for. And the crowd starting to chant as the trumpets are playing again. Maybe I'll give you another song. I'll try and add another one in. I can't even remember what other ones I've got. I don't know what there is. I can't remember the name. I always give my tracks weird names. So nothing's like an actual... Uh... No, I mean, I can't. it's going to be too difficult. I'm never going to find something in time. They're all called like New Song or New beat or new or sunday this saturday that friday this friday that oh well we didn't find anything that's fine will this be the last changeover of the match if you're just joining us hit a thumbs up on the video subscribe if you're new Good serve from Djokovic. Good return from Hachanov. Shadow nearly across the full court. Drop shot Djokovic. And Hachanov is just looking. Yeah, he's getting all out of position when he gets to the ball now. Djokovic moving him around. Good drop shot. It wasn't even the best drop shot. Hachanov got there at time. Just unable to execute. Serve is in. Forehand down the line. Cross court. Forehand is just long. Dean saying, yes, I feel a tough match like this could actually be a good thing now because Carlos is going to step up anyway. And also, after this match, he will get two days off. Yep. Exactly right. And they'll play again on Friday. So they will be pl playing the semifinals. And the final will obviously be on Sunday. First serve just misses. We will be having women's semi-final. That will be on Thursday. We'll have more quarter-final action tomorrow. Drop shot Djokovic again. Bringing Hachanov in. You can see just... Oh, Djokovic misses an easy shot on top of the net. Goes into the net. I mean, that's poor from Djokovic, really. Got there with plenty of time. Just didn't get the right connection. Serving 15.30. Is there another twist in this tail yet? Into the net with the first serve. Second serve. Backhand cross court. Backhand to backhand. Into the net from Hachanov. Thirty all, pressure points one for thirty all for Djokovic. One out of nine. That's a bit shocking to me. One out of nine. Who'd have thought that? Serving now, thirty all. Good serve. Back in play. Djokovic half follies on the baseline, and goes wide with his forehand. And Hachanov has break point now. Djokovic looking invincible on his serve. Now he's facing more break points. This coming just after having break points on the Hachanov serve. Got JG in the building. How are you doing, sir? <laughs> and we've got serving here. 30 40. 
just clips the neck cord, goes back on his own side. Second serve for Novak here at break point. It's a double fault, and it is the break. What is happening here? This is, this is a going against the script. Uncharacteristic mistake from Novak Djokovic, a clutch moment, and it does mean we're into the business end of the fourth. Just wide on the first serve from Hachanov. Who did saying, What the hell? Double fault from Hachanov now. Oh dear, what's happening? French crowd are happy, says Daria. Mark saying, You cannot be serious. It's got a touch of the old Mac in Rose. First serve in. Good return from Novak. Forehand into the corner. And well, she wasn't even in the corner. Hachanov's feet just not moving right now. A bit sluggish and he's whacking his legs. You can see. Just annoyed at himself. Move the legs. That's obviously the problem there. Bit heavy, bit leggy. If you're just joining, make sure you smash the thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Serve out wide, forehand Novak, backhand Novak. Oh, it hits the baseline. Now cross court, Djokovic with the drop shot. He's bringing Karen in. Karen looks very uncomfortable. He goes back there behind him, and that's been the one that's worked so often. Three break points. Fart face in, saying break right back, no lay. I mean, I don't want to be mean to Alcharnov, but the break he got was very fortuitous. Drop shot of it is back, says Udit. Yep. Misses the first serve. Danny Pavic making an appearance. Saying, yes, very good, Nole. Idemore. Good return from Djokovic. That's wide. It's a break to love. Right, so uh, how typical is it? Hatch on breaks, but then gets broken straight back. No point in breaking, wasted the break. There's the break. And some love for Nole. Mark saying, this guy's joking with us. Playing with his food, says the G of G. I mean, it did seem a little bit like that. Waste says JG. Yeah, I mean, it was golf like saying they should agree on a me double medical timeout so they both get some nice leg massages. Well, yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe that's the answer. Maybe you should offer some services for leg massages in changeovers. Then you can go down there or anybody else. Uh, Djokovic now serving for the match. We are wrapping it up, says golf like. If you want to be a member like Goldflake, then subscribe to the channel, join the membership, and you will get special live chat features, get some merch discounts. You get all sorts of stuff, special emojis for the live chat. Good drop shot, Djokovic. He's there. Oh, Karen's just looking so leggy. Those long legs have run a few miles today, let me tell you. Ba 
Oh, unreturnable from Djokovic. Thirty love what? Well, two points away. Here we go. If you're just joining, if you're no late fam, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Good serve. Blocked back in. Djokovic knew he's going to go back that way this time. Hachanov. It doesn't matter because the volley's there. It's three match points, and he's going to be in the semi-final if he takes one of them. Match point. Right, three a match points for Novak Djokovic. Hey, there it is. Game to love to finish off. Here we go. Here we go. No lay is through to the semi finals. No lay, no lay. He's through to the semi-finals of Roland Garros yet again. Come on, nole nole, nole nole. Thanks to everybody who joined for this one. Who will he meet in the semi-final? Will it be Carlos Alcaraz? Will it be Stefano Sissipas? Join us later for that one. If you want to help support the channel, if you want to be part of our top tippers, send us in a super chat. Our five dollars. I'll get any player but I'm played of your choosing. You help the channel grow. Help us get to our tip target. And I just want to say thank you to everybody out there. It's been a fun one. Djokovic started slow. He's like Diesel these days. He takes a while to get going. But once he gets going, does he ever? And you see the quality is always there. Is it going to be enough to get past the semi-final stage? We're going to find out. He's going to be sitting at home praying for five sets between Sissipas and Alcalaz, and he's probably going to be praying for Sissipas to win. That's for sure, isn't it? Let's go to the live chat, see what everybody is saying. Ardell's in with some GTOs. we got Snail, another member in with some Nole Noles. Who else? You've got Fartface in with Udimo. Gold flakes in as well. Ardu saying beautiful with the no lay emojis. <laughs> so we got in here. Uh, sorry, I'm choking. We got Gary in saying, could no lay tire out Carlos? It's very possible. Could Sissipas tire him out? Uh, Danny saying, thanks for the stream. See you on the next one. Well, make sure to join for the next one. It's in about an hour's time. It is Alcalaz City Pass. It's the big night match. Who will face Novak Djokovic in the semi-final? That's what I want to know. We're going to find out. So make sure, if you haven't already, hit the like, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and uh, join us for the match later. That's all we can say, isn't it? That's all we can say. We're only going to be able to find out once that match is done. But yeah, I think I'm pretty much done. We're up to... 52,625 subs. Not bad. Let's try and get a few more on there. If you haven't hit that sub button, do it right now and hit the like button as well. Right. I'm going to wrap this one up. It's been fun while it lasted. I'm going to clear the airwaves because Covey is going to be coming through very soon for the big night match. But to finish off, we've got to have Nole Nole. Dance the night away if you're a Nole fan from Nole Fam.
over and out. Stay tuned. Big stuff coming up.